let's meet the house guests. I can't believe it! I'm in the study showdown! Yes! Yes, I can't wait to tell everybody! Whoa! Hey, I'm Steven. Um, I've been riding dirt bikes for a little over a year now. I have my own little dirt bike track out here. I come out here like every day to like practice and try to get better. Come out here to blow off some steam. I have five sisters and I'm the only boy, so yeah. Sometimes it's a little rough. If I win the Sodi showdown, I'm gonna use all the money to buy my myself nice racing dirt bikes so we can finally get some races. So my strategy for this, I haven't watched very many shows like this, so I really don't know what I'm doing, but my strategy is make the most amount of friends as I can, make like a couple alliances, but kind of hang a little low and not be super crazy about trying to get everybody out. I'm just gonna kind of slowly ride to the end without getting myself kicked out. Brand new dirt bike, here I come. I'm headed to the Sony Showdown! Whoa! No way! I'm going to the Sony Showdown! Woo! That's what I'm talking about! Nah, maybe I shouldn't do that. I gotta keep this. What's up, I'm Jared. As you can tell, I love everything sports, so any sports, I'm gonna own it. I played pretty much any sport, but my main ones have been football, baseball, and wrestling. But really, anything active, I've got to win those challenges. So that's my goal. I'm going to win any active challenges and be active, reaching out to all the different players so they're on my side. I'm trying to be the most likable person in the house so everyone kind of bees on my side. And then at the end, I'm going to win this challenge. I got two, two kids and a wife at home that I have to provide for. And they, I, what I can do with that money, oh, there's so many different things. I'm looking forward to this. I'm going to the Sony Showdown! I'm going to the Sony Showdown! Woo! Do you know how many video games I can buy with this grand prize? What's up? My name is Derek. Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? Go for C! I don't take myself seriously, so hopefully none of the guests in this house take me seriously. Until I win that dang grand prize and I walk over their fallen bodies. You can say I'm kind of a psychopath. I'm gonna win this. See that? I got these two crutches here, which means I got a leg up on the competition. I'm always the purple character. Scrub Lord, I swear you give me that color right now. Looks like I'm going to the Sodi Showdown. Oh yeah. My name is Taylor and I love playing soccer. <laughs> if I win the grand prize, which I'm going to, I'm gonna get a year's supply of ice cream. My strategy is to cause up some trouble in this house. Sony Showdown, here I come. <laughs>
like a double foot, guys. Sorry, showdown, here I come. Showdown? This is awesome! I can't believe I'm gonna be in the Sodi Showdown! My name is Jordan and I wanna be a hairstylist when I grow up. I like inventing new crazy huh? hairstyles. The crazier, the better. When I win the prize, I'm gonna start my own business. My strategy is try to is trying to be most likable in the house. So no one would want to vote me out. What? I'm going to the Sony showdown? Yes! So I'd like to tell you a little bit more about myself, but I am too busy cleaning up after everybody else that makes a mess in my house. My name is Jamie, and I am a mom of six kids. If I win this grand prize, I am going to take that money and go on a vacation with just myself. My strategy is to act like I'm too old to play this game and then shock them all on finale night when I win the grand prize. Sony Showdown, here I come! What? I'm going, baby! I love it! I'm Steve, and I'm going to the Sodi Showdown. I guess I'm gonna have to take some time away from my sweet baby and go win myself a big prize. My strategy, win the comps, be the best at the social game. This is gonna be a cakewalk for someone like me. Sony Showdown, here I come! Woo! Like, look at this! I will grab it. We're going to the Sony Showdown, and I am gonna win. Are you ready for the Sony Showdown? Ten house guests, six weeks, only one winner, with a hundred thousand dollars at stake. These house guests will compete each week to see who will control the house. They'll battle for their lives as one of them will get sent home each week. With so much at stake, there's going to be drama, lies, deception, and a whole lot of fun. House guests, are you ready to be cut off from the outside world? You may enter the house. Sony Showdown begins now. Oh, look at all this food! Yes! And it's a secret one. The pantry is my favorite part of the Sony Showdown! Yes! Ah! No! What? No escalator? It's like they didn't even care. I guess they let anyone in here. This is gonna be too easy. Get out of here! Do you think we should try to work together? Obviously! <laughs> Guys, I can see downstairs! Also, a chest set! And a gigantic one, too. Whoa. Ooh, cool, there's a tuck to each toe. Can I do it? Yeah. The box. 
Oh, sweet! I found my favorite room! Whoa! This place is so cool! Look at this! Whoa! I found the room I'm sleeping in! Control the Sody House. <laughs> but be smart, because next week someone else is going to be in charge. Sody so Gears in the closet, let the best house guest win. Look at all these Sody gear. Oh, what do we got here? Okay, let's do this. Oh my gosh, oh, I am nervous. Why am I so nervous? My hands are sweating. Oh my gosh, our first competition. Ooh, yeah. First competition. Whoa. Hmm. Interesting. This looks easy. Welcome to the Tower of Doom challenge. Each house guest has two minutes to stack as many cups as possible. They must be stacked just like this. By the end of two minutes, you must lock in your number by ringing the buzzer. Your two minutes starts once you hit the buzzer. I'm so pumped for this. I'm going to lock this. I was super nervous going into it. I did not know what I was doing. I felt like my hands were shaky the whole time. I was just, I just didn't feel focused. And I really wanted to be focused on my first competition. I kind of actually really wanted to win it. All right. One stack to start it off. Oh boy. I'm pretty sure I won this competition. I thought about throwing it because it was you know, the first one, but then I thought big moves need to be made right out the gates. How am I gonna know for two minutes? I'm just gonna build the size I can, give it one good solid run, and lock in my time. Well, so looking at the challenge right off, it seemed like a pretty easy, straightforward challenge. Finally, the first head of household challenge. I was so ready for this one. My initial strategy was to build two different towers so that if my main tower falls, I would at least have something to fall back on so I didn't have to end up with zero. That was my safety net just in case this one falls down. I at least have something. So when I first came out to see um, the competition, I was like, oh, this is gonna be easy. So our first Sodi competition, I think it went really well. All right, I'm gonna take this nice and slow, get to a good amount, and stay at that amount. Wait, can I go like this? Gosh dang it. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, I'm at six. Two 
minutes, we have two minutes, calm down, two minutes. Oh my gosh. My hands are shaking. I uh, was able to stack tons of cups. Um, I got, the my tower was super oh high, God. but then unfortunately <laughs> it tipped over um, before I could lock in my score, so I had to start from scratch. Hurry, I gotta hurry, I gotta hurry. I'm gonna run out of time. I'm gonna breathe too heavily and knock this whole thing down. So I went into it and I was thinking, here we go. I'm just gonna start calm, easy, build a solid base. Come on, come on, come on. How are we looking? Okay, I got a little bit more time, I think. A little bit more time. Um, I was counting in my head, but now I forgot how much time I was at. It's moving. Ah. Huh. Oh no. So as I'm building it, I get all the way up to 11. I go to put that 12 point on, it starts to sway a little bit, so I had to kind of hold on to it. So I got down from the ladder, and I knocked down my first one, which came back two times. I was just like, that's how you lost it in though. And so now I have very short time. I had to go back and try to build something and make something positive out of this, out of this, um, out of this round. When I stacked it up, I had a lot of time left, but I didn't know that. And I felt like it was gonna fall over, so I just pressed hurry and pressed the button. And I stacked nine cups. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if anyone could beat me in this. Um, at the cup stacking competition, I felt like I did actually very good, but I don't think I got number one, which I am fine with because I don't want to make very many enemies right off the bat. So my strategy is to do like really well in them so that people know that I'm sort of a threat but I'm not I'm not making any enemies yet. And then oh, win on you when I need to. Oh my goodness, alright. I just gonna stack. Shoot, 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 shoot. That was probably the most disappointed I felt in the whole competition. It felt defeating because I felt like there's no way I could um, compete anymore. Oh no, no. Okay. Do I do one more? Do I do one more? I was worried that the time was gonna run out, so I hurried and locked in my time. I just <sighs> I just no, feel I like I blew it. That's falling over. One more. One more. Go to where everyone else is gonna give up. Keep going. Good. I'm running out of time! One try, that's all it took. Oh 11. I thought I could have scored a 12th one in, but I wanted to make sure I didn't run out of time because I went slow and steady. I didn't want to do anything that would make it so that things would fall over and I'd have to rebuild it because that's when you get in trouble when you're stressed with time. I got to about 10 cups, and then as I'm putting the 11th on, it was getting no! kind of rocky, so. I decided to kick off the 11th, stick with 10, lock in my time. Nice and Screw easy. Screw it, I'm done. I'm done. <clears throat> it's moving too much. I don't know if I won, but still pretty good. I had short time, I built up to about eight. The ninth one was a little sway. I was like, I'm not gonna take another chance. I'm gonna stick with eight. I think eight is a solid number. I don't think too many people will get above eight, but I don't know, it's gonna be tough. Lock it in. That's it, that's it. That's day, that's day, we're good. Oh my gosh, that was such a hard competition. The cups almost tipped over me uh, like every single time. But I was so nervous because I jumped off the table and it shook right yeah. before I um, touched the button. So hopefully it didn't fall. It didn't fall over though. But I feel like I could have done, done more. I'm not sure if I got the highest number of cups, but I'm hoping I did because I would definitely not feel safe if I didn't win this competition. 
think these guys are trying to get me out of this house. Hello, Sodi Showdown house guests. We have an official winner of the competition, and they'll be the Sodi boss for this week. Let's see how well you guys did. All right, folks. Derek stacked 10 cups under two minutes. Good job. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Next step, Steve stacked 11 cups. Oh, sorry Derek. Jamie stacked nine cups. Jared came in at a whopping eight cups. Eight's not bad, it's respectable. But before he hit the butt buzzer, his stack fell over, which means he got zero points. No, 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 it fell, but then I, 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 I built another one. I built another one. No, I built another one. A donut for your first comp. That does not, ah, that is, no way. I love it. Jordan tied with eight cups also. Peyton got nine cups. Taylor also got nine cups. And Steven got 11 cups. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. oh so it's a tie. Blake got three cups, and Parker got zero cups. So, the high score was 11, with Steve and Steven tying. So it comes down to whoever did it faster. Steven ran game in one minute and 42 seconds. And Steve completed his in one minute eleven seconds. So the sooty boss of this week is Steve. Oh. That one. So use your time wisely, cause soon you're gonna have to put up two house guests for elimination. Ta-ta. Oh, oh baby! First cop win. Oh. He won. All right, so I have like 15 minutes to decide two people to put on the block. Um, we're gonna have to do quick, like one minute meetings in the theater room. What do you think, Peyton? Who should I put on the block? Well, I'll, I'll, if I were you, I would put it, on, put it on people that are gonna be hard to beat. You think I should go after people? You think you're easy to beat or hard to beat? I'm easy. Well. If. What do I get if I don't put you on the block? I won't put you up next week if I win. So if I don't put you on the block this week, you promise me you won't put me on the block this week? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll take into consideration. Hey, go tell uh, Derek to come in. Okay. What's up, dude? How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? I only got like a minute with you. What do you want to do? I don't know. What's your plan on this whole game? You know, my plan is just be a, a wild card the entire time. Nobody knows. <laughs> Nobody really knows, but. So your plan is you're coming in and telling me your plans to be. <laughs> but a what wild I'm card. saying is, this wild card can be like in your back pocket. You know, you can play <laughs> me as a wild card, and I can really mess up some people. Who do you think? Like, so in the end, all that matters is like having the most numbers and getting to the finals. Who should I put up? Starting off early, do I start off? With heavy hitters, or do I start off easy? You know, if I'm gonna be completely honest, I'd go for like Peyton maybe. She kind of scares me a little bit. <laughs> She's actually kind of good at these little competitions and stuff too. Exactly. But, yeah, and you can never get a grasp on what she's really trying to pull off. Yes. She's, she's the most threatening, I feel. Because nothing, you never really know what's going on inside her mind until she wins a competition. Or do I go easy and just like put Parker and Blake on the block and then everyone's like, eh, whatever. That's also a good idea. I don't know. I'm trying to think what I should do. Hmm. All, right. All I know is you shouldn't put me up. <laughs> That's what I do now. <laughs> we shall see. All right. All right. So uh, how many cups did you end up with then in that competition? <laughs> I don't even know. A lot. <laughs> you know I'm loyal. I'll stick with you. Okay. Are we going to the end with this thing? Are we going to be the last two remaining? I mean, if you win, I win, I feel like. Okay. So here's the thing. Um, I would go after Jared. I 
would put him up and just get rid of him. Oh my he's, gosh. He's a tough competitor. But if I put him up and then he gets himself off because he's going to be good at competitions. Okay. And then he's targeting me. That's true. I don't, like, I, mean, I don't, could maybe I kind of am thinking I don't want to get, like, d too dirty in this. Like, okay. I want to do something simple, clean, okay. easy. We can maybe use him, um, maybe go after the little ones. Just get rid of Parker and Like, Blake. Parker and Blake, and no one, no one's upset except for Parker, but yeah. she's not going to beat me in a competition. Yeah, maybe, maybe we just have to do, oh my gosh, everyone's going to hate us, but maybe we just get rid of Parker it's and It's the bad guy move, but it makes everyone happy. Okay, maybe it's that's what you guy. do this first week, and then we go after Jared later. Or if we get some kind of really good opportunity. Okay, so you're not gonna put me up. I'm staying here. We're final two. Final two. We're staying here. We're staying until the end. Are you really though? <laughs> I am. <laughs> that didn't look so serious. All right. Okay. Let's do it. Nice job with the competition. I know. We're I, tied. Yeah. I was trying to go. High, but not the highest. Oh, really? I, so, know. I didn't think I was like killing it either. I know. I, I didn't think 11 was that many cups. But... Who would you have put up if you were up in here? Who would I put up? I think I would put up Taylor and Peyton because they're most they're the most competitive. Or Taylor and Jared probably. They're the most competitive out of our little group here. So. Okay. So you would have been swinging heavy. Yeah, I would try to get them more challenging ones like the I don't really see like more problematic us ones. having any problems so I'm like I'm yeah just gonna kind of I'm kind of just flowing through it I'm not okay going crazy or anything as long as we're kind of on the same page I feel pretty good about that mm -hmm. what's going on shorty not much so what do you think and we got like one minute okay. why should I not put you on the block because I won't put you on the block oh really yeah you sure you want to come after me because I'm a boy? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just checking. Do you have any buddy, people you're thinking you're going to work with? No. Huh. Just you. Interesting. <laughs> What's up, Taunt? <laughs> so, this is it. We're in the big game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you something really quick that I think you should know. Just so in the future you know. <laughs> I've had more than one person think I should put you on the block kick you out. Why? I'm not gonna say names, but they think that. I don't think that. But other people do. Okay? So know that in your head. You have to play strong. But know what? I don't think that. I'm not putting you up. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. Okay? <laughs> but, so we'll keep like a little secret, but I've had at least three people say your name. So, I know, that's not cool. Do they think I was mean? No, it wasn't because of that. They thought one specific reason was they thought you were really competitive. Okay. But so. keep your eyes and ears, pay attention because people might try to trick you, but they're trying to get you out. You can do this. Okay. I'm not doing it. Blake, are you scared of me putting you on the block? Yeah. Do you think I'm going to put you, do you want me to get you out of the game? No. You want to stay in the game? Okay, I don't know who I'm gonna put up. Please. Aww. <laughs> You're too sweet. <laughs> you did good in the cups. No, I did. You forgot to hit the buzzer, huh? Mm. Excuse me. So I have to put two people to see who goes out of the house. Who do you think I should put? Blake. Blake? What about you? Why not? Because. why? I want Jordan. You think out. Jordan and Blake? Why do you want Jordan out? Because I don't want Blake out. Ah, but you don't want to go up. I haven't decided yet. Well, let's see, okay? All right, I'm the Sody Boss. Mm. That means I am safe this week, no matter what. Can't get kicked out of the house, and I gotta choose two people to get kicked out. Good news is I've won a competition that's gonna be good for like that final see who did the best in the game vote, but I gotta put two people out. I'm trying to decide if I go easy, if I go heavy, or maybe I'll try to trick somebody who's a good player and see if I can get them out when they're not looking. I'm thinking about starting off putting up just like two simple people and then trying to 
go after a bigger person once somebody pulls themselves down. We'll see, it's gonna be complicated. I think I can do this though. I'm kind of excited about being the first winner in the Sodi Showdown. Boom! Sodi House guests, it's time for the nomination ceremony. All right guys, seriously I want everyone to know, this is not personal, but I am trying to win this game. So that's all what all my decisions are for. So, the first house guest I nominate is Blake. <gasps> Blake. Yes. You're just too dang cute and I don't think I can beat you. Oh, Blake, oh no. Sorry, Blake, but that's not as hard as the second nomination. But I came to this game to make big moves. No! Oh. It had to be done. Ooh, no. Like, wow, okay. Betrayal, right off the bat. Oh! Betrayal. I don't feel safe here anymore. Oh! <laughs> this nomination ceremony, is officially adjourned. Sorry, man. Don't touch me. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Blake, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, Blake. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm mad. That's not nice. I want to go out. I'm just, I, I don't even know what to think right now. I, I didn't think I was gonna be in this position, like first challenge and first voting. I'm in, I'm on the block. Like I, I just didn't think I was gonna be in this position. And I thought Steve was true to his word. I thought really what he talked to me that it was gonna be serious and it was, he was gonna stay true to it, but it shows, you know, this game brings out people's true colors. All right, well I have like one minute. So the real question is, are we teaming up and knocking everyone out as fast as we can? Or are we going after each other? I think we're both the strongest mm -hmm. in the house. Clearly. So I think we need to team up and knock everyone out. Just out. destroy competitions, mm -hmm. knock them out, final two, and we battle out for the winner. We can battle at the end, but at the beginning, we gotta we gotta make it to the end first. So we gotta, we gotta team up here. Final two. Okay. Really, the only thing I can do now is try to win this last chance challenge because, I mean, I think if I don't win it, I don't think anyone's gonna take me off because they see me as a threat. And so really my only chance is to win this last chance so I can pull this off me and put on someone else. But other than that, I might be going home this week. Steve did exactly what I told him to do. Woo! This is gonna be a good week, guys. Good week. Who, nominations. Actually not as hard as I thought it was gonna be. I like that I went into it and I was like, okay, I'm gonna do something that's gonna hurt someone's feelings, but it felt kinda good. Go big or go home. I'm here to win $100,000. Mind. I'm so glad it's not me. So how are you feeling? I don't know, I just, I didn't think he was gonna I mean, getting put up for elimination the very first week is brutal, but you still have this competition, this last chance competition, and I don't know, you you could win and take yourself off. Yeah, but like, I need, like, to go far in this competition, I need friends. Like, I just... I'm your friend. Um, I'm your friend. How you guys doing? Good. Are you coming with me, Jamie, or are you just- Yeah, yeah, I'll go with you too. Yeah. Dude, what are you gonna do if you get picked for this competition with your leg? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> like, what are but you gonna do? But if I do get picked, I'm gonna have to come up with something because I don't want to get voted out. I don't know, man. Blakey, I hope you don't, you don't have to go home. If I win, I would take off the necklace. Me too. Do you guys wanna, are you guys 
Want to keep me in? Yeah. So should we be a team? Sure. So if any of us win, we have to take Blake off the block. Mm-hmm. This will be a secret team, so don't tell anybody. Okay. So what should our team name be? Okay. Three amigos. I like that. Can it? Three amigos. Not a bad alliance name. I don't like that I'm not one of the amigos though. It's gonna make me reconsider because I was thinking Jared was my target, but maybe I need to go after Blake. Hello, house guests. Are you guys ready for the last chance challenge? Where six house guests will compete for the power. To change or keep the nominations the same. The Sony boss and the two nominations will compete no matter what. And they each will draw a random house guest. Let's see who wins the last chance challenge. Once the players are chosen, head on outside. Good luck, Sody house guests. All right, we're already gonna be competing, so now it's time for me to draw the next person to compete. Steven. Ooh. All right, Blake, you pick one. Blake chose Peyton. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. The last contestant is Derek. Oh. <laughs> I hope it's a physical competition. <laughs> All right, house guests. Head outside! Woo! Woo! Oh, come on, Derek! Come on! Come on, Derek! Sody guests, welcome to the Slip and Leave Sody Challenge! In this last chance challenge, each competitor must take their red cup and fill them up in this black bucket. The first person to fill up their jug and get the ping pong ball out wins. May the best house guest win. I went into this thing, I knew I've got to win this. If I win this thing, I have complete control of the house this week. It'd be perfect. Yes, Mary! Come on, Blake! It's... Why are you pushing me? Get out of my way! I lost a cup. Already lost a cup? Slow back. Ah! Going into this competition, I actually didn't want to win it because I kind of want to stay as low profile. But then I started doing really well and I was in first place. I can't get up without you! Running up and down, I think it was crazy. I was just sliding everywhere. It was hard to get up the hill. Maybe that's because of a little extra weight that I'm carrying right now, but it was not a cakewalk. I'm all right, Derek. Watch out, watch out, watch out! I mean, 
mean, I was going so fast. I was getting the double cups. I was making sure that all the water went in there and I got all the water possible. I was able to see Steven and Steve next to me and I was beating them. So I had this in the bag until Derek got hurt. Derek! Hey, he's actually hurt. Pause. Pause. He's hurt. I think he's really hurt. Gosh. Come My here. Knee. Let's get him off. Let's get him off. At least get him off. It's so your knee? Hard. My knee. The bad one or the other one? My bad one. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Roll it over. Flip it around. Oh. Let me oh, see. Yeah. That's messed up. Oh. I don't know if we should carry him or we should get like an ambulance here. What do you want, Derek? I don't know. So, uh, yeah, that whole Derek thing. <laughs> I feel bad and all, but keeping him in this competition for longer actually may be a benefit for me because that guy is not winning anything. A quick update, Derek has chosen to forfeit this challenge. It wasn't really a choice. If I'm gonna be completely honest, I shouldn't have even been in this competition. The, the whole crew in Sodi Showdown have no respect or boundaries for anybody with an injury. They just throw you willy-nilly in competitions and do you know what happens? Somebody gets hurt. You know what? There's a lawsuit coming your way. By the looks of things, it looks like Jared, Steve, and Peyton are tied for first place. Steve is in a close second. And Blake, she's nowhere to be found. I saw my competitors and I was like, yeah, I can beat them. I'm actually thrilled with the outcome of everything. Are you mine? Get set, go! Milton! I'm away! Hey, get out of my way! Steve's <laughs> 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 down! Shoot, 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 shoot! I can't reach it. I got another one. That final slide. I just fell right down. I was moments away from winning. Cups, water everywhere. I think it was exactly what I needed to get that ball out and the victory would have been mine. So close. I got mine! I got mine! Yeah! <laughs> Don't know the words to describe. Disappointed, I guess. I just I thought I was gonna do better. I just, I mean, I did everything I could. I don't know what else to do. I won the last chance challenge! Good job, Peyton. Good job. Oh yeah. Well deserved, that was a tough one. <laughs> Derek looks better. <laughs> what is he faking? I can't believe Derek got hurt. I'm so bad about him. And he really thought that he broke his leg. Things are just crazy in this town. Since I was the winner of the last chance competition, I could choose to leave the nominations the same or save somebody. If I save somebody, the Sodi boss gets to pick a new person. And I choose to save Blake. Blakey! Since I chose to save Blake, it's up to you to choose a new house guest. I am not looking forward to this. Since Peyton won, she cannot be chosen. Phew. I nominate Parker. You guys are just trying to make me get out of the gun. <laughs> <laughs> Jared, he's always been my target. I would say you definitely have three votes to stay for us. So I can count on you three? Yep. Yep. I don't think so. You are safe with us. Mm. Yeah. Maybe we should do all girl alliance. Mm. We'll keep all the girls safe at first. I already saved Blake. I have the best name for a team, just for girls. Yeah. 
That's cool. I love it because there's four of us. But we had to keep it a secret. Do you guys know how you guys are voting yet? Honestly, I I really don't know how I'm going to vote yet. What are you, Derek? What are you thinking? I don't know, man. Steve, he's like the head honcho right now. I don't want him to get upset and beat me. But he's already, like, betrayed. So if you have an alliance with him, he'll betray you as well. I feel like you two are kind of, like, together as a team, and if I can get your guys' votes, I can just scramble together a couple other ones and I can stick around and we can make this alliance even better. I mean, you've got a good point. We'll, we'll think about it. We'll, we'll think about it. We gotta stick together. All right, house guests, it's time for the elimination ceremony. All right, I won't be voting unless there's a tie. You each have a couple seconds to tell everyone why you think you should stay in the house. Parker, ladies first. Play keep me in the house. I don't want to leave. Guys, I'm the most loyal person here. I'll be your best friend. I will never vote you, and I'll never win the Sodi Boss Challenge because I'm not gonna vote any of you guys out. Just, just keep me in, please. Taylor. Hmm. My vote for someone to leave the house is Jared. Jordan. My vote to leave the house is. Parker. Steven. I think Jared should leave the house. My vote is to send Jared no. out of the house. Yes. This is the easiest choice of my life. I choose Parker to go home. With the final vote, four to two, Jared, you must leave the Sodi Showdown house. You are eliminated. You betrayed me. Next season. It was not the personal. Next season, you're, you're done. Bye, bye. bye, bye, Jared. No, get No, you guys are, no. You guys are, you never voted me. I'm sorry. I tried. Jared, Jared. No, get away from me. Jared, no, I, I just, no. Jared, you're just next the biggest season, competition. Next season, I'm not believe in anything any of these guys are saying. Jared. Peace out. You started this. It's not the last time you're gonna see of me. I'm coming back. Taylor, thank you for voting me to stay. Oh, no problem. Remember, we're part of an alliance. Yes, we're going to the end. Parker, I'm gonna talk to Jordan to see why she flipped on us and see what's on her mind. Well, I know that she betrayed me. So, Steven, what are we gonna do for this this next upcoming challenge? What's what, up, boys? What are you doing in here? Are you guys happy that I just knocked the big dog out of the house? Kind of. I know. I'm kind of happy. Say, <laughs> <laughs> so, don't get me wrong. I only voted Parker off because I'd like to oh, see her reaction. There was no offense taken. I I, I knew that there was no chance Jared was staying. We had to get him out. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, the problem is that only leaves three boys left in the house. Yeah, we gotta eliminate some of the girls. We're outnumbered, but now it's time to... I'm, I'm thinking... Step up the game. Jordan might be voted out by all the girls. Because after she broke She did through... kind of turn on her own alliance. Yeah. Because yeah. I know, I know that there's this little three-person alliance. Oh yeah, us. definitely. That's now... Probably against Jordan. Yeah, After probably not happy about Parker leaving that. Because all the Jared. girls voted for Jared except for Jordan. Yeah. So I, yeah. So we just need to like not make it super obvious, but we got to pick off a girl this week. Yeah, we need to. So if I'm gonna be we completely honest, I think Taylor's like the ringleader right now with those little girls. She would be a big, big one to get out. And I yeah. think she's the one to go for. Yeah. Uh, that was kind of awkward. I mean. Me and Derek already had like a little thing and I'm glad Steve came in and like had the same idea to get one of the girls out. But I'm thinking I'm gonna try to stay more with just Derek so that it'll just be the last two of us at the end. I, I mean, any, really, any of them because it's a numbers game right now. We yeah. yeah. 
But so if we you can. two, I can't compete for the Soviet Boss Challenge, so it's gotta be one of you guys. You gotta step it up. You have to win this one. Mm-hmm. We got this. This is like life or death. Because if one of the girls wins, <laughs> one of us goes home. Oh, yeah, oh, that's true. They're gonna vote two of us out. Yeah. And it will <laughs> not. Okay, Steven, <laughs> we gotta step up and we gotta get it. One Give of it us. Do you guys have any idea what this next challenge might be? I have no idea, but it's probably gonna be a mental one because the last one we were running around. Yeah. I don't think you gotta use your noggin, so Derek's gonna have to win this one. Uh, I, don't, I don't think so. <laughs> Steven's, Steven's the closest within school. I haven't been to school in I don't know how long. You know, the timing was a little bit suspicious on Steve's part. He's acting kind of sus. But I think for now I can trust Steve. I mean, we both want to vote out one of the girls, and I think it's got to be Taylor. She's a top dog. But me and Steven, from the very beginning, we kind of had this mutual thing going on. I looked at him, he looked at me, we kind of just knew we were in an alliance. You can't even fight on this. <laughs> you can. Hey. Hey, is our alliance cool? Yes. Yeah. Like, just for girls? Yeah, yeah. Well then, Juno, why did you vote Parker to leave? She's one of us. We're supposed to be a team. I knew that Jared was going home no matter what. Because I was hearing a lot of people saying that they were going to vote Jared out. And I didn't want to be in our alliance. I didn't want to give away our secret group. Since I voted for her, they don't know that we're working together. That makes sense, but I need to talk to Parker. She's really upset. Wait, let's all go talk to her, okay? So, I don't get Jordan's logic and don't really buy it. So, if I become Sony Boss next, I might be holding her out. So? How are things going? Good. I actually, so I have a little thing going with the boys so that they okay. think that we're solid, I believe. I haven't broken into the girls yet. They, I, I think they are ready to fall apart. They seem to be <laughs> like at each other. I don't know why Jordan voted to yeah, what get was that rid about? of Parker. So I'm a little confused. I'm still trying to infiltrate the girls, but they're tough. But if you got into the boys. I feel pretty good about the boys situation. I did okay. walk in on like, them having a conversation. But I think they seemed fine with me walking in and we just started talking. But okay. So final two still with us. We're going to go yeah. to the end. But we're not going to work together except for these kind of things. Okay. No one can know. No one can know that we're working together. <sighs> what did I tell you? <laughs> I told you I wasn't going after you, right? Right. You trust me now? <laughs> yeah. Are you uh, working with the girls? A little bit? A little bit, but then Jordan betrayed it, so I don't know. Hmm. We got to keep an eye out on those girls. You need to pretend to work with them. Make them think that you're on their team, but really, whose team are you on? Yours. Me and you? All the way? Yeah. But are you going to betray like you betrayed Jared? No, I told you from the beginning what the deal was, right? I, I had to tell Jared that because he's a big competitor, right? Do you want to compete against Jared in all the competitions? No. We had to make a big move so we could have a better chance. I want to look, remember, what, did I give you inside information last time? Do you want more? I... Remember, I gave you inside information. I told you people were trying to get me to put you on the block. Yeah. They are still out there and you're still a target this week. So you need to try to win this challenge for the Sodi boss, okay? Okay. You win this thing. And then you control who goes home. Do you know the challenge? I don't. We're going to find out here soon, I think. Okay, I'm going to go so no one sees us together, okay? Okay. Parker, I still want to be in our Just For Girls group. I didn't, I actually wanted to keep you in the game. Why did you vote me out? Why did you vote me to go? Well... I didn't want people to know that we were in group. I just wanted to keep it a secret. For now, I'll always vote to keep oh, everyone in our group. group. Licky, do you want to be in our group? We can call it just five girls. Yeah. Yeah. High five. No, give me a high five. No, I did it. Boom. Give me a hug. No. no. Give me a hug. No. I have a feeling that our just five girls is going to fall apart before it even starts. I don't trust Jordan, though. 
Don't tell me. So, uh, I kind of lied. I'm gonna vote anyone out that stands my way. Even if they're in my alliance. I tried vaulting over it, then I saw Parker, so I just tucked. Shh. Hello, Sody Showdown house guests. Are you ready for another Sody Boss competition? We're gonna see how good your memory is. Whoever wins the competition gets the power over the house. And we'll have the difficult choice of picking two nominees for elimination. Who's ready to play? Thumbnailed it. Get on over to the theater room. Good luck, house guests. Oh my goodness. I am super psyched for this competition. This is totally down my alley, like memorizing things and visual, like I am just good at these types of things. Um, I'm not sure about the, the physical challenges, but this type of stuff, I got this. This is gonna be my first win, I know it. What? No. You guys all ready for thumbnailed it? Because I was the last Sodi boss, I'm unable to play in this competition. Thumbnailed it. A thumbnail is going to appear on the theater screen for five seconds at a time. You have to analyze it and memorize it because you will be asked a question about that thumbnail. The last house guest left wins the Sodi boss competition. Each house guest has a blue block for yes and a red block for no. Take a good look at the first thumbnail. Was the color of Jamie's dress blue? Lock in your vote. Parker, lock in your vote. Blake, lock in your vote. Blake and Peyton and Jordan, you are eliminated. What? No! Take a good look at this thumbnail. Was Steven's left hand holding onto the bed? Steven, lock in your vote. Parker, lock in your vote. Steven's left hand was not holding onto the bed. Steven, you are eliminated. Oh, I thought it was my left my uh, left hand because my side you is facing towards me. the camera. Gosh dang it. Well, you know, majority of the time, I had no idea what I was guessing. Thumbnail number three. In that thumbnail, was Taylor's mouth open? <laughs> oh no. Shoot. <laughs> Lock in your votes. Lock in your votes. Mm. Taylor's mouth was shut. Mm. Taylor, you are eliminated. Yeah! Check out this thumbnail from Christmas time. Was Jordan folding her arms? Oh no. Derek, lock in your vote. Jordan was not folding her arms. Everyone is safe. Oh my god. <laughs> that was the hardest thing in the world. So stressed. I'm answering question after question and I'm getting them right. But so is Derek and Parker. I'm like, how in the world is Parker getting all of these right? Um, it's insane. But I finally got down to the last three and was feeling really, really good about my situation. Check out this exciting thumbnail. Were there 20 stars visible? on Jordan's pants.
there were 20 stars visible on Jordan's pants. Parker, you are eliminated. I can't believe I got down to the last three. But then I got on a hard question and lost. Look at this adorable thumbnail. Were there two green presents in the background of this picture? Mm. Ah, shoot. Mm. Lock in your answers. Shiitake mushrooms. Mm, seven layer dip. Derek, uh -huh. lock in your answer. There was one green present in the background. Neither of you are eliminated. In this doll maker thumbnail, terrifying. Was Peyton wearing black shoes? <laughs> Were her shoes even in the camera? <laughs> I was too busy seeing the giant doll face. Lock in your votes. Oh no. Peyton was wearing pink shoes in this thumbnail. You are both safe. Dang it! Check out this thumbnail. <laughs> Were there four villains in this thumbnail? Lock in your votes. Can I, can I pause here? Did you see how ugly my face was in that? What was wrong with my face? With the lava on it? <laughs> There's something wrong here. Lock in your vote. There were four villains in this thumbnail. You were both safe. Jamie, pick the wrong answer. Take a look at this thumbnail. Was Steven wearing a gray hat? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Lock in your answers, please. Derek, your answer, please. Uh, Steven was not wearing a hat in this thumbnail. You were both safe. Uh, Check out this exciting thumbnail. Was Taylor wearing a white undershirt? Look at me, Jimmy. Embrace my eyes while well, he tells us the real answer. Maybe. Taylor was wearing a gray undershirt. Derek, you have won the Sodi Showdown. Yeah! Sodi Boss Competition. I'm the boss! I spat all up in her grill. His knee, his knee healed quickly. I blew it. I blew the competition that was meant for me. I may never get another competition that's perfect for me to win Sodi Box. And uh, I just feel like a failure. Maybe they should send me home. Maybe I should be done. I just, I can't believe I lost it. It's so stressful being in this house, guys. You don't understand, it's so stressful. I think on every one of the thumbnails I got pretty distracted, like, the doll maker one, for instance, I was just too busy trying to figure out why there was an M&M bottle and not like an M&M box or bag. And then he throws in like a shoe question. I just guess, I got it right. Went down to the last two and I obliterated Jamie. She didn't stand a chance. And <laughs> I'm the boss. Woo! I'm the new Sodi boss. You're going on the block for that. Oh boy. Previously on Sodi Showdown, nine house guests now remain in the Sodi house. With a shocking elimination, Jared becomes the first house guest to be eliminated from the Sodi Showdown. 
leaving the remaining house guests to battle to see who will be the next Sony boss. Jamie, Derek, and Parker were the final three in the competition of the thumbnail to challenge to see who would be the next Sony boss. And in the final round of the challenge, Derek emerged victorious with a new person in power. Will drama ensue? Will alliances be broken? Who will be nominated to be eliminated this week? Welcome back to the Sony Showdown. So, nominations last night was a lot of fun. I enjoyed every second of it. But now, I gotta come back to reality. It's time to tell Parker that she's been nominated. Yeah, so, uh, that's not gonna go well. I wanna be a fly on the wall so bad when Derek tells Parker that he nominated her. So, Parker, I think Derek needs to talk to you. About what? I'll just let him tell you. Hi Parker. Hi. How you feeling? Good. You feeling better? Yeah. That's good. Um, so because you were too sick to come to the nominations, you know, um, I'm just gonna tell you something now, okay? I have a present for you. Do you want your present? I can see that you have a cool necklace here, but I have a cooler necklace for you. I, I've nominated you. And Jordan. Look how pretty that necklace is. Steven, let's go. Go now. <laughs> Showdown viewers, I interrupt this episode for an important message. We need your help. Choose your favorite house guest. Go to the Shot of the Jaegers Instagram to vote. And make sure you follow them and comment on the Sony Showdown post. And pick your favorite player. The winning house guest will receive a prize on finale night. So go vote now and follow them. Wait, Parker, let's make these cookies so that you can give it to the boys and they will vote the other person out so that you could stay in the game. Okay. After tasting these, I bet Jordan's going home. Peyton, can we chat real quick? Yeah, sure. I feel like everyone in this house isn't on my side and they're trying to get me. I just think a lot of the girls are having a hard time trusting you. Well, I just I was just asking if you get picked to get on the competition, it would be on my side. No, if I get picked to do the last chance competition, I'll just have to think about it. All right, that's all I wanted to ask. Just, just wanted to work with you in this game. So Steve, <laughs> what's up? I have something to tell you. I got some information I'd like to pass on. Okay, is there certain information? I like that. There is a secret in this house. There's a secret door with a secret combination. A secret door? 
How do you know about the secret? I just found it. You found the secret <laughs> door? Well, I found What's in the it? code. I, I don't know the code. I thought you said you had the secret combination. No, I never said anything about secret combinations. I don't know the code to it, but if you go downstairs and on that white, on that white bookshelf, there's a keypad. And I don't know the code, but I think there's a secret room in there. Interesting. Really interesting. I don't know how to get in. Huh. We'll have to listen around and yeah, try to find some attention. clues. Find who all knows about this. Me, you, Stephen, and Jamie. So I'm the last one you told so far. Huh? See, because I wanted <laughs> I wanted you to listen around more. Because now that you know, it's, that's all you're going to be thinking about. You know, I just wanted you to be focusing on like you know. Let's figure out this combination. Secret room. Interesting. Hey girls. Oh wait, wait. Shut the door. Shut the door. Guess what? What? Uh, Do you guys want a secret? Sure, yeah. Okay, I want you to remember. I'm telling you this secret that I've heard. That there's a secret room somewhere in this house. A secret room? A secret room. I don't know what's in it. I don't know how to get into it. But it has to be a secret just between us, okay? Mm -hmm. Other people know, but only a couple. I don't know who all knows, but I know that they didn't tell you. I'm telling you. Okay. Okay? Hey. Oh, let's get out of here before we can take a work together. When we get out of here, I want to play some Call of Duty. I know, we gotta play the new one when it comes out. That'd be fun. When's the new one coming out? I think it's like. I know the beta comes at like October like 8th or something. Guys, I made cookies. What? Why? She wants you guys, if you win the competition, to take her off the block. Oh. Hmm. Interesting tactic. I'll take a cookie. I'm not promising anything yet though. I want a cookie too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Parker. Good idea. I hope my bra really worked. I don't want to get that more home. I see Parker walking around campaign, but I just don't want to. I'm pretty sure I'm going to win this last chance competition, so it doesn't matter. Let's do it, guys. Hello, so we show down house guests. Are you ready for another last chance competition? Where the two nominees have a chance to save themselves. The story boss, the two nominees, and three other house guests get to play in this competition. Whoever wins has the power to shake up the house. Who's ready to play? Ninja Pong. First, make your selections and then head on outside. Good luck, Sodi house guests. Because I am the Sodi boss, I automatically play in this competition, and so does my two nominees. I will make the first random selection. Jamie. Oh. Welcome. My first pick is Steve. Oh. Oh! oh! Game time. Let's head outside. I haven't gone to play in any last chance competitions, and I really wanted to. Because I've been in here not doing that many challenges. I've only done two, which are the boss ones. I really wanted to win or take Parker off the block. Yeah, I'm just you know, mad because I didn't get chosen. I really wanted to play this game. Today we are playing Ninja Pong. Using these Ninja Kid squish balls that you can find at stores now. Each house guest throws their three Ninja Kid squish balls and whoever gets the highest points wins. One, two, three, four, and five points. 
will be awarded. And the loser will have to select a box. Two house guests will play at a time. May the best house guest win. At random draw, Steven and Jamie were chosen to compete first. Woo! Going down, do Jamie. Do this. Do this. I'm going with the ninja kid first. Last one. Oh, Steven. <laughs> yeah! Let's go! Steven got one point. Jamie got zero points. Steven, you get to move on. Jamie, choose a box. All right. I was chosen first to compete and tank. What are these people in the house gonna think of me? I'm definitely not a competitor right now. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, can I win this competition, this entire competition with never winning anything? I feel like $100,000 are just slipping through my fingers and I'm the only one to blame. Whew. All right, guys. Looks like I got the Hourglass Grand Prize, which means I have the power to remove one of the nominees from the chopping block and I can't be put up as a replacement nominee. But there is a catch. The next loser can choose to keep their prize or take Jamie's. Since I won, I get to choose the next two people to compete. I choose Steve and Jordan. Right, I go first. Oh! Boom! Whoa. Two points, baby! All right, Jordan, it's your throw. Steve's ahead of you by two. Oh. I'm going for the win. Oh! It's my last throw. Be my only hope to win. Yes! One yes! I win. Steve beat Jordan by one point. So Jordan, you must pick a box. I'm picking green. Hey Jordan, now you could keep this hundred dollars or you can trade for the hourglass. I'm gonna take the hourglass. Ooh. Can't take myself off of the block with a hundred dollars. All right, since I won, I got to pick the next two competitors. I choose Derek and Steven. Oh, Steven, you're going down. Sure about that? Here we go. Two points! <laughs> that was a lucky bounce. You got this, Derek. <laughs> that was way too much power. I'm down by two. I gotta get a good one. No! Uh, yes! Uh. Wow. He <laughs> just connected with that okay. other Okay. I need at least two points, otherwise I'm eliminated. After a few rounds, I started to get the hang of it. I found the right way to throw those squishy balls. And you know, I did pretty good. All right, I got three points. That means Steven is eliminated. Choose your box. I choose this box. So a Jamie was really easy to beat, but sadly, I kind of lost the second one. Ooh. I got two mystery giant ninja balls. These are awesome. Now I need to decide if I want to keep these or Swap it out. I think I'm gonna swap it for the hundred dollars. All right, awesome. These are mine now. I'm all about the Benjamins, baby. You know, 
I feel like I'm the overall winner of this whole challenge because Derek's not putting me up and they got $100, so I'm fine. I opened it up so you guys could see all of the mystery prizes that are inside of it. Well, the only two people left are Parker and Steve. Let's see who wins. Go! I got this. Go, Parker! Oh! Let's do this, Ninja Kid. Oh. Three points, baby! Woo! Parker, you need to get points. Do this. Oh my, you almost got five points, Parker. Sorry, Parker. I have to go for the win. Oh! Steve won with four points. The one I felt the most guilty about was taking Parker down, but I didn't get to choose who I played against. I just had to take her out. And when I finally won, oh, it felt so good. Parker, you must choose your box. What is this stuff? What? I got mystery mini box. They're my friends and ninja kids. They're my favorite. I want to take the ninja box too, but I want to stay in the game. I don't know what to do. I'm just going to take it. No. No, no, I'm not safe. Looks like Steve and I are the last ones to go. I knew from the get-go I had the gun because I am really, like, I'm working with Derek. I don't trust Derek, so I felt like a target. I knew I had to go for the win. Oh! oh. Four points. Okay. Oh. All right, let's do this. More points. Oh, so cool! Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. Right now, Steve has four points, and I only have three. All right, I need points, I need points. Oh. It's still points, it's still points. <sighs> Just on, a small one, go, go small, Derek. <sighs> yeah! <laughs> Victory! All right, I lost, I must choose a box. Hmm. Choose the red one. What is it? Um, um, I think it's a ninja morph suit. <laughs> so I can keep this and wear it for 24 hours, or I can trade it with somebody. Hmm. Hmm. So many choices. Hmm. What to do? This is looking a little small. Let's see who would fit in it perfectly. Steven? Jamie? Parker? I think I'm gonna trade with Parker. I don't think she realizes what she's losing here though. Bye bye. Thank you. What did I get? Money! Uh, Come on, dollar. Ooh, Ooh one dollar is a lot. It's more than I got. All right, Steve, you have a choice. You can keep your one whole dollar, or you can trade with someone else. This is a hard decision, because I want the hundred dollars, but safety for the week sounds amazing. I'm gonna trade with Derek. Yes! Yes! I was honestly super surprised. I 100% thought I was gonna lose this. I've got the hourglass power. You know, when it came time for uh, trading, I had a hard choice ahead of me. It was really between the $100 or getting the hourglass, but I think I chose right, and in the end, I got a whole dollar. Now I just gotta go find a vending machine. Guys, our friends the Ninja Kids came up with these really awesome toys. You can go get them in the stores. You guys should really go check them out. Who wins all the competitions in this house? This guy. Should I shake some things up? All right, Jordan, I've got to make a decision. Do I use my power or do I just leave you guys the same? I we haven't really talked much since this game began, so. I think you should use your power on me. Why? Because we have a team, remember? 
We do? Yeah. I don't remember. I remember hearing about another team that I'm not involved in. The Three Amigos. The Three Amigos? What? I just thought I heard a rumor that there's three Amigos on a team. Was that you? No. Huh. So you think me and you are on a team? Who else is on our team? Just us. <laughs> just us. So, you're on the block. I have all the power to take someone off. What should I do? Jordan. You want me to take, you want me to save Jordan? No, take off her. Leave her on? Okay. No. No. Take no. If I take off her necklace, she's safe. You want me to take off your necklace? No, I will, yeah, take off, just make Jordan lose the game and go back home. <laughs> you want Jordan to go home? Yeah. Hmm. Why should I play with, the, are we on the same team? Like, or whose team are you on? I heard that you're on a special team called the Three Amigos. What is the Three Amigos? What are the Three Amigos? You tell me what the Three Amigos are. I don't know. So you promise me you're not in an alliance with other people? You're not in a team with somebody else? I'm not talking it. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. I feel like you might be on another team. I'm not. Alright, well I'll think about whether I should use this power or not with you, okay? I'm on another team. You're on another team? With who? Dad. With Dad? With you. Mmm. <laughs> Sounds suspicious. After meeting with these two, I'm even more confused than before. I thought... For sure Jordan was in that alliance, but now I'm remembering, I don't think it was. I think it might have been Taylor, Peyton, and Parker. Or was it Blake? Maybe I got it both wrong. I'm just so confused, I don't know what's going on. I don't know who's with who anymore. But Parker gave me some weird vibes. Jordan couldn't really commit to anything. I don't know what to do with his power. Since I was the winner of the last chance competition and I have the hourglass, it's time for me to- ah! Oh, she tricked us. I get to choose to leave the nominations the same or take somebody off the block. I have decided not to use my power. What? That means the nominations are gonna remain the same. You know, I'm really enjoying being the Sodi boss. Everybody's being nice to me. I don't really have to worry about anything. It's just a relaxing time. Unless everybody's just talking behind my back. I'm just saying Derek picks his nose. I'm just saying that. So uh, Derek told me to keep that secret that we found secret. And not to tell anybody, but Steven and Steve were kind of acting weird around me like they knew something. Do you think Derek is old? house guests hopefully you're enjoying this sody house filled with competitions friendships and drama get ready folks because today is a special day i have a feeling that things are gonna get shaken up in this house good luck soda guests what was that <laughs> what are you, where, where did that come from where, where, the door i i, I think uh. What is it? Wait, I'm gonna open it. Open it. Open it. Open it. One, five, three, nine. What does it say? What's just one, five, four, three, it's just one, four five, numbers. Five. It just says 
1539. Wait, was it supposed to be like a challenge? 1539. Challenge? I think it's a ch I think it's some sort of competition. I don't know. Or maybe. Is like there another? Is there like a, a mind secret? game? Maybe we should go back to the back door. Maybe oh, the backyard. Maybe there's something set backyard. up. Backyard. I think there's a special competition. Mm -hmm. As soon as I heard Peyton say those four numbers, I knew it could only be one thing. You guys, maybe it's in like the far back. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Let's go. First time I see it. I knew there was something suspicious going on when I look up and I couldn't see Derek or Steven anywhere. I had a pretty good idea where we were heading. There's nothing out here. Oh wait, I know what it's for. Oh my gosh! No. What? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Guys, 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 hurry and get in! Taylor, how do you know? You're gonna make it? You're gonna make it? to get into the secret room. I realized it way too late and unfortunately the door shut and then the code didn't work anymore. I just, I think I blew it. Uh, I have no idea what's going on. Everyone just started running away. So I was able to get into the secret room perfectly fine. It's me, Steve, Steven, and Taylor. I don't really know how she got in. I have a feeling somebody broke the promise and kind of told. So I guess I gotta weed out the imposter. There's a secret room somewhere in this house. A secret room? A secret room. I might have some explaining to do. Guys, we're really in here. We're really locked in. Whoa, guys, look at this. Shot of the Jaegers, it's Collins and Devin, and we Hello. challenge you to our new fake food challenge, and we can't wait to see what you create. House guests, welcome to the Collins Key Fake Food Mystery Challenge Wheel. Today, we're bringing in Devin and Collins' famous energy and excitement into the Sony Showdown House. Today, you will be competing in an all expense paid vacation to Cancun, Mexico. I'm for sure getting that trip. A trip to Mexico, this is mine. Back away. I'm for sure getting that trip. The other house guests are not gonna be happy when they find out about this. Yeah, <laughs> they're gonna be upset. I don't care. The Collins Key Fake Food Challenge. You can play the game or create your own new challenges. Okay, house guests, we're gonna find out who can make the perfect creation. Like Devin. Or wacky ones like Collins. The winner gets a vacation to Cancun. Up guests, are you ready? Woo, let's do it! I'm ready. Going down. I'm yeah, gonna win. I'm gonna make the perfect fake food creation. I'm a baker in the family. Mm. It's fake food though. Yeah, can you bake Except, fake food? Yeah. Except Steve eats a lot of food, so I feel like he knows his way around food. If there's somebody who knows anything about food. It's me, because I made it. I'm not even gonna argue against this. To start the ultimate fake food challenge, we must spin the wheel. Whatever color lands on will decide which food we make. We got blue. Let's see what we have to make. It looks like we're making a burger. All right, so next we're gonna each spin the wheel to see which color component compartment we get. I go first. Ooh. Green. Green. Ooh. There is a twist though, guys, with the color. If you land on the same color as somebody else, you have to split no. the components. 
Which will make it way harder to make something awesome. So you have less. Okay, Steven, you're up. That was a horrible spell. Oh, green! Uh, <laughs> what if they all land on green? I shouldn't, I shouldn't have said that. Uh, Did that spin all the way around? It had to have. <laughs> yeah, it had to have gone all the way around. It was just a perfect circle. You ready? All right, Taylor. Perfect circle there. Nice, good spin. I got yellow. All right, she gets the yellow compartment. Can you not land on yellow, do it? Woo! I got blue. Oh, jeez, I was so worried he was gonna get I green. Know. Yeah, <laughs> like, you all about got green. Oh, there's still one in there. Each person gets one tool to help them with their creation. Is that for me? Yes. Oh. A cheese grater. I'm supposed to be making hamburgers. We each have one minute to make a fake food creation. Your minute starts now. All right, I'm gonna open up my components to see what I got. All right, first things first. Oh my goodness. It's like slime. Oh, how am I gonna get out of here? Hold up. Let's see what these components are. Ooh. Oh, that is so soft. Let's see, I'm assuming this is supposed to be my bun. And let's see what I got. Oh my gosh. This is the coolest. Oh, check this out, check this out. It's got like little beads in the slime. Ooh. Ooh, I can use this to make my bun. Gotta split it in half for the other one too. Okay, time to open up this. Green sprinkles, to be exact. Look at these green sprinkles, they're awesome. I need to think about how I'm gonna make a hamburger with this. All right, so I have to figure out which one of these categories I'm actually kind of shooting for and hoping to land on. I think it's best if I focus on something, go for that as opposed to just like making a burger. I'm gonna make something for a specific category and hope that it lands on one of the categories I'm aiming for. I gotta check out my components first. Let's see what this is. Ooh, this is sort of like a gooey sort of thing I could use for the meat. Let's check out my other components. Oh my goodness, it's like clay. This actually feels amazing. Oh my goodness. How am I even? All right, what's my second component? Oh, this has got kind of a cool feel to it. Let's see what this is. There. They're like little balls, little red balls. I could be, I could use them for tomatoes or some kind of like topping. Or maybe I can make something cool. Maybe I can use these as the patty, make it look like that's the meat. I gotta make the buns. And let's get out the meat. Put it. Here we go. Sprinkles! All right, time to make a hamburger out of this. All right, so I'm gonna flatten this out. Try to make it kind of like a circle real quick. Oh, look at this component. This one is the stickiest by far. We gotta try to make this into a patty. There's my patty. <laughs> I wanna see what's in this before we continue. Ooh. I got some very small brown balls. What in the world? This is the coolest. This might be my favorite ingredient. So now I have a blue putty kind of slimy. This is gonna be awesome. Oh my gosh, look at this guys. Make it nice and flat. Cut it right through the middle. Right there. Okay, so I now have two different buns. This will be the bottom one. So my gro I'm gonna go for grossest and colorful by making blue really like slimy putty my buns. Okay, my bottom bun is done. Now I'm gonna use this as the patty. Okay, so I just gotta put that there. Oh, you know what I can do? I've got my little, it's like a piece of bread. <laughs> a 
I don't know if this is gonna work. This is gonna be cool. It's going on the patty. There we go. Get the patty a little brownness. Now I gotta, I gotta separate this. Ooh, it's the perfect color too. Make it into a patty, guys. Ooh, that looks good. Whoa! Okay, since these are green, I'm gonna use it for the salad. Look at it jiggle, look at, oh, look at that. How's it not falling off the edge? <laughs> it looks more like an oyster than it does a hamburger. Get that, get that going. Where's my roller? Oh, there's my roller. Gotta get my roller out. Make this into a nice bun. Oh. I have never seen a better bun in my life. It'll be like a sandwich more than a burger. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, there we go. I can fill right out. Now I gotta get my patty on there. And I'm gonna put these as if it's kind of like the salad or like the mustard or something. Put that right there. Oh, beautiful. And then, time for the top bun. Voila. Oh, oh. The patty's falling out. Oh no! You've got a crisis! Alright. Voila. My beautiful hamburger. Now I gotta add some of the secret ingredient. These little components here. Okay, let's put our meat on. So, if I just throw a few of these in here so it looks like it's the substance of the burger, the delightful burger part of the burger, that'll be good. Okay, now, if you have a burger, you need cheese. So I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna call it a pink cheese to start. So I'm gonna take a little square. That'll be my cheese, okay? So, cheese right here. Hey, gotta make my last bun here. Look at that perfect ooze on that burger. Let me lift this up here. And... So I got the blue bottom, the meat, the cheese, and another layer of meat right here. I'm gonna see if I can use this slime as kind of my sesame seeds. I'm gonna go real thin with it, and I'm gonna spread it out across the top here so I'm gonna really stretch it out. Guys, this looks good enough to eat. But at least wouldn't trip to Mexico. I don't think this is gonna win me a trip to Mexico. Well, there is a messiest and grossest category. I just gotta hope it lands on one of those two. Come on guys, this thing looks pretty tasty. But it is not real food, so don't eat it. That's why it's called the fake food challenge. Burger and fries. This is gonna be one delicious meal. I gotta make a fries. Got my fries. Gonna set my burger here up so I got a nice little display. Voila! I'm a perfect chef. Ready. Don't even tell me what it is. Neatest. Neatest? Neatest. None of these are neat. None of them are neat, but this will be interesting to see. I am curious on who they're gonna say is the neatest. Well, house guests, after pulling the remaining house guests, the winner of the Collins Key Big Food Challenge is Derek. Woo! Not Derek. Yeah. Not Derek. Dang it. Look at that burger right there. Mmm. You don't deserve to go to Mexico. Woo! I'm taking this. I'm taking this. I'm taking my burger. Congratulations, Derek, for going to Mexico. Thank you, Moose Toys, for sponsoring this video. Big Food Mystery Challenge, real at Walmart. Of course I won. I knew that from the very beginning. I was gonna blow everybody out of the water. I mean, my burger alone was just 20 times better than everybody's. Especially Steve's. Did you see Steve's? It's just blue and purple mess. Yeah. I hate losing. I especially hate losing to Derek. But 
I said from the beginning, I was kind of going for certain categories and neatness is definitely like my kryptonite. So that was a no go. I feel like I really didn't stand a chance. I mean, I have like a green hamburger and we're going for neatest, but I think mine was pretty cool looking. Seriously, David, I have the best burger. And who would choose David's? Mine looked the best. It was perfect. How could he win? House guests, it's time for the elimination ceremony. I am the Sodi boss, so I won't vote unless there's a tie. This elimination ceremony will be done secretly in the diary room. Each nominee gets a moment to plead their case. When I want to, you to vote for me, that I really want you to vote for me because I am the prettiest. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm doing. Well, I don't want you to vote me out because... Just don't vote me out. Let the voting begin. I vote for Parker to leave the house. Bye. I vote for Parker to leave the house. Happy birthday, Makai! I vote for Jordan to leave the house. Hi, Zibby and Lizzie. Oh, oh my goodness. I vote for Jordan to leave the house. Also, subscribe to Stephen Yeager Gaming. With a very heavy heart, I vote Parker to leave the house. I'm sorry, Parker. I vote for Parker to leave the house. All right, Sodi House guests, the results are in. As soon as I announce who is eliminated, they must vacate the house immediately. With a vote of four to two, Parker is eliminated from the Sodi house. Not fair! You know, if I'm gonna be completely honest, I'm not really upset that I sent Parker home. Pretty relieved and I didn't lose any sleep from it. So I have a feeling Derek's gonna be after the girls. Maybe he has a boy on his? All I know is he put up two girls. I don't feel very safe right now. I need to win the Sodi Box competition. So, uh, I know Steve wanted me to try to break into this girls group and try to become a part of it to, you know, see what they're talking about and get their secrets, but I've been unable to break in, but now that Parker's gone, maybe there'll be a spot for me. Like all you said that Parker went out of the house. Yeah. Do you feel like you lost your best friend? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right, I called this meeting so we could talk about our alliance. Now that Parker's gone, we lost one of our group. Now we're just, just Four girls. Licky, do you want to be in our group? We can call it just five girls. Yeah. Yeah. Five. Are we good sticking together? Jordan. Guys, I already told you I want to be loyal. I promise. Okay, Whoa. just four girls it is. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. I'm also not sure about the three amigos. All right. Three amigos. I like that. Can it? Yes. You know, Derek, me and you, we should just hang out in here. Like, claim this as our man cave. I might even sleep in here. I know, now that it's open for good, this couch is pretty comfy. It is very comfortable. Anyway, back to business, Steve. Back to business. I'm not gonna be able to compete in this competition, which means you're gonna have to win it. I know, we need, we need control still. Because I'm afraid if somebody else, including your dad, is, he's a little rough. I know me and you can always trust each other, but yeah. your dad is a little off the ball. Mm -hmm. So is your mom, and she's, and she's Jamie's a little rough. Anyway, Steven, I need you to get control, because if anybody else has control, 
I'm gonna get voted off. Steven, I think it's important that we come up with a solid alliance name. Now, I have a few options, okay? Mm -hmm. We could be the Boom Shakalakas. The Boom Shakalakas? We can be the Imposters. Mm. Um, or maybe the E-Lemonators. Oh, E-Lemonators, all the way. <laughs> I think that's it. <laughs> the E-Lemonators. You hear that, guys? We're the E-Lemonators now. Eliminators. <laughs> you guys hear that? We're the Eliminators, and we're going all the way to the end. We're making history right now. We're gonna be the last two remaining, and then I'm gonna win. Hello, Sody House guests. Are you ready for another Sody Box competition? Where the winner will gain the control of the house. And we'll get to nominate two new players for elimination. And we'll put the chances of 100, and we'll put the chances of winning $100,000 in danger. Who's ready to play digging up your on Derek? Heading out to the backyard. Good luck, Sody House guests. It is super important for me to win the Sony Boss competition. It is the only way to ensure my safety. I just barely survived elimination. I need to win this. I'm trying to decide. I've been winning a lot of competitions, which I think might make people want to kick me out of the house. But if I win, I'm safe. I feel pretty good about my alliances. I think I might be going for a victory today. Who's ready to play? Digging up dirt on Derek. Since I was the last Sody Boss, I will not be playing in this competition. In today's Sody Boss competition, I will be asking questions about my YouTube channel, Uncle Derek. Like, are you subscribed to my channel, Uncle Derek? Do it now. Then each house guest must find the answer hidden somewhere in the playground. You must bring your answers you find up to me and one player will be eliminated each round. The first question is, what was my first video on my YouTube channel? I know, I know. Perfect. Oh, that's on it, that's on it. Nothing in there. Yes. Ooh. Oh. No. Yes. No. Wait, 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 wait. No. No. This is it, this is it, this is it. Oh my goodness. I was super scared that I wasn't even getting in the first round. I mean, I was second to last. But the thing is, I knew exactly what the answer was, but they got to the cards before I could. I, I knew from the very beginning, I just couldn't find a card. But thankfully, it was left down to me and Blake. Reveal your answers. Lava Monster. Lego Escape. Lava Monster. Lava Monster. Lava Monster. Lego Escape. Lego <laughs> Lava Monster. <laughs> the correct answer is Lava Monster. Yeah! Yes! Yeah! That means Peyton and Blake are eliminated from the competition. Really? I got the first round. Question number two is, what is my most viewed video? <laughs> no, I know. Oh, I know this one. Easy. <laughs> take it, take it, take it! Oh, 
Oh no, kid, that's mine! No, that it's mine! No! Back of the line, back of the line. All right, guys, reveal your answers. Lego Escape. Lego Escape. Lego Escape. Lego Escape. 24 hours. All right, the answer is Lego Escape. Yeah! I got it, I got it. That means Steve is eliminated from this round. I can't believe how crazy it was, just like, there was just names and things everywhere. So everywhere I was running, trying to find, I just couldn't successfully find what I wanted. Luckily, like I said, I wasn't really trying to win this one, so it worked out. Question number three, what did I teach people to paint? Got it. Wait, 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 is this it? but probably not. Oh, oh there's one over there. I think this is it. You can use this. Luckily on that first round, I was able to find out where all of the other cards were. were like, I knew most of where all the cards were, so it was pretty easy from then on. Reveal your answers. Pennywise. Pennywise. The It Clown. <laughs> Jared. <laughs> Jared? <laughs> the answer was Pennywise. Yay! Yeah. Ooh, I'm getting close. Which means that Jordan is eliminated from this competition. I, I saw the card. I just thought that it said Phantom. Not Pennywise. It had a PH. Not a, just a P. It's, it's really upset right now. Question number four. Who won the giant game board challenge? Guys. So that one round that the answer was Jared, I ran up to the card, I saw it there, and Taylor was there first, she was going to grab it, and I'm like, oh, that's not it, and I ran away. And so she believed it and ran away too. I ran back and grabbed it, I'm like, wha-bam, Taylor got out. I don't even know who played it, how do I know who won? I know. Oh, there's one right here. That's my answer, okay. Reveal those answers. Jared. Also Jared. Did it. The correct answer is Jared. Yes! Ooh, final two, baby. <sighs> Taylor is eliminated. That was one of the hardest competitions ever. Even if you know the answer, you had to find the answer. And digging for the wood chips was was so difficult. I can't believe I got out. I knew the answer though. Couldn't find it. Question number five. Where did I film the floor is lava in random places? Ow, that was my toe. Sorry. Did he have to? It's right here, it's right here, it's right here. No! It's the only place card I saw this entire time. No! Welcome. <clears throat> Reveal your answers. Hawaii. Hawaii. You are both correct. But, since that Steven brought to me at first, Steven is? the new Sodi boss. Yes! Whoa! Let's go! She's not me to do that. Oh my gosh, guys, it was so close. Again, another Sodi boss competition that I was down to the final two and lost it. Watched it slip through my fingers. Steven found the card before I could. And now, guys, 
I don't feel safe in this house at all. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I finally won my first Sodi boss thing. Um, I kind of had to because I feel like me or Derek was going to be voted out next. So, I have all the power. I couldn't be happier that Steven won. Steven being a Sodi boss is not good for me. This is not going to be good. Like, Steven winning, he's definitely going to make me on the block. Here's what I'm thinking. I think our two biggest threats right now, <laughs> stop smiling right now, this is supposed to be a serious I, I'm sorry, I'm just excited. My Padawan is finally becoming the master. I know, I know, finally. Continue. Finally. Sorry, I lost my train. Okay, I think our two biggest threats are Taylor and Jordan. But I'm thinking we mainly go for Taylor. Steven, I agree with you for your nominees. Jordan acts like she doesn't care and a lot of the times she gets upset and she loses, so mm -hmm. let's help her out and just get her out of here. Second, Taylor is crazy. She's super competitive. She also gets mad when she loses. Yeah. And I'm thinking we just vote out Taylor. That's who I'm gonna vote if you put those two. Okay, up. if it ends on a tie, I'll vote Taylor. Perfect. Okay, Steven, that's perfect. As long as they don't get taken off the block after we play the last chance challenge. All right. Evil animators. All right, guys. It's time for the nomination ceremony. <laughs> guys. This is just for gameplay. Don't take it personally. But my very first nominee is Taylor. And my second nominee is Jordan. All right, guys, the nomination ceremony is now adjourned. I'm so sorry, Jordan. Taylor, I'm sorry. Taylor, Taylor I am sorry. Jordan, Steven, Jordan, I'm so, I'm so sorry. sorry, Derek. Finally, Derek and Steven left this room so that we can chat. I know that you said the girls can trust you, but now we're both on the block. And I know that the boys want, wants us gone, but we just need to work together. One of us may win this last chance challenge, or else one of us are gonna go home. Eliminators rock! I feel like I'm some like weird garage band or something with that name. You know, I do kind of feel bad about this, but it needs to be done. Honestly, I'm hoping Taylor goes home. So I'm thinking that both Taylor and Jordan are kind of depressed right now. They're uh, on the chopping block and they're getting nervous. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna make some promises to them and I'm gonna form an alliance. Hey guys. Hey. Um, I just wanted to chat real quick. Um, I know we haven't talked a lot of games so I kind of wanted to just have a quick chat with you. Just hear me out, okay? Um, so I know both of you guys are on the block and um, if I were in your position, I would want somebody fighting for me. So I just, I kind of want to propose a little bit of a group between the three of us. Um, if I get picked to play in the last chance competition, I will play to win, okay? And then we can have a discussion if I win and I will be willing to use that to take one of you guys off the block. And then I will vote to eliminate anyone else that you would want. Like if we put somebody else on the block, I will help save one of you. If we could be, you know, a team and work together. Okay. Okay, do you guys agree? Yeah. Like you're willing to let me, you know, kind of help? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so you're gonna be playing, you're gonna be playing, and I'm gonna hope to play, and we'll all be playing to win, okay? And if I yes. win, 
I'll save one of you guys. And if one of us wins, you can take yourselves off. Yeah. Okay. Pinky promise. Pinky promise. Okay. Pinky promise. No breaking. All right. Are we the the Pinky Squad? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Pinky Squad. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. Um, thanks for hearing me out. Um, have fun and just keep it between us, okay? Yeah. So, uh, I finally broke into an all-girls group. I think they accepted me. This is good for me. This is really good. Uh, I'm safe another week. Did you hear that sweaty showdown fans? I've never been on the block. I'm really safe. It feels awesome! <laughs> Yeah, I kind of feel bad about Jen and Teo being on the block, but I'm actually really glad that Steven didn't put me on the block. <sighs> Just feels free. Maybe our alliance is gonna be ending soon. Um, real quick, I uh, had a discussion. Finally, I think I broke into the girls' group. Um, at least Taylor and Jordan. I. Do you hear that? We need to go. We need to go. Okay, hurry. So, so I told Taylor and I told Jordan that I would try to compete. I would try to win, and that um, I would, if I won, we could sit down and have a conversation of who we should take off, and then I would try to get votes to save the other person. I don't okay. know. I'm just, I'm just trying to That's get in there, trying to get in there as much as I can, because I feel like the boys are going after them. After them. I mean, I'm obviously not loyal to them. I'm just trying to, you know. You're trying to get. Get their And I feel like so. the boys right now, we're all tight, so everything's good. We need to go. Okay, let's do it. Okay, okay Steven. Here's the thing. <laughs> so either one of us has to win. Yes, one of us has to well, win. Well, you have to win because I don't even know if I'm playing. If I don't play, you gotta win this mm -hmm. competition. And then I think, a little power move here, um, you could take Jordan out and put Jamie on. So then it's like, uh, no, because Jamie, we gotta get more adults out. That's just my thinking. I know. But but do you think we get Taylor out first? All I'm saying is if Taylor and Jamie are both on there, either way I'm happy with. Alright? Steven. <laughs> Hello, Sody Showdown House Guests. Are you ready for another last chance competition? Where six house guests will compete. For the hourglass trophy. First, you must pick the players. Then head outside to play Jumping Bullseye. Good luck, so you have guests. It's time to pick the players for the last chance competition. Me, Taylor, and Jordan will automatically compete in this last chance competition. As the Sody boss, me, and the two nominees, we will choose the remaining players. All right, the next person to be competing is Derek. Oh, huh? Derek. All right. Derek. And the next person is Blake. Oh, oh Blake. Jamin, they get picked to play, and that's not good. Shoot, just when I thought that I could gain their trust, this happens. All right, guys, since I was not chosen to compete in the last chance challenge, I will be your host today. Each competing house guest must jump from this cliff and throw a bean bag. The bullseye is worth 50 points. Green is worth 25 points. The blue is worth 10 points. And the yellow is worth five points. The Sodi house guests will play three rounds. The person that gets the most points at the end of the three rounds is the champion. Who's ready to play Jumping Bullseye? This competition is right up my alley. I'm pretty sure I got this in the bag. We did random draw, and Steve will be throwing first. Scuba Steve. Woohoo! Oh! Steve gets 
25 points. Yeah, baby! Screaming squirrel. Looks like I'll be throwing next. Here we go. Bye, man. Oh. Derek did not make it on the board, so he got zero points. Ah! Dang it! Esteban. All right, I'm next. All right, here we go. <laughs> Steven missed the board also and got zero points. I dropped it on the way down. I dropped it and then I caught it again and just tried to throw it. It's my turn, wish me luck. Tata. Taylor hit the tree, which means she gets zero points. That should be worth a hundred points. Right, my turn. Little Jojo. Oh. Jordan also missed the board and got zero points. <laughs> Darn it! Blake got five points. <laughs> Oh, it felt so good to be the only one who nailed a big score right out of the gates. Love hitting that big one. All right, guys, it is time for round two. Oh. We got 10 points. I was kind of hoping I would have scored a little higher on this next one because while the first round getting the 25 was good, I think I need more if I'm gonna win this thing. Derek got 25 points. All right. Don't overdo it, Steven. Overdo it! Yeah! Steven got 10 points. Woohoo! Here we go. I wish you luck. Taylor got mm. zero points again. Oh my Jordan got 25 points. Blake, 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 Blake got another five points. Yay. <laughs> it is time for round three. So far, Steve is in first place. Let's go, baby. Bring it home the last cup. Steve got 10 points, leaving his total score at 45. Let's see if the other house guests can pass him up. Come on, scream it, squirrel. Yeah! <laughs> oh! Derek got 25 points, which makes his final score 50, putting Steve out of the competition. No! Woo! I thought I had it locked up. I thought I had it locked up, but it was a crazy finish. I'm not super mad that I lost because Steven's in control and I feel like we're kind of playing together, so we should be good. Come on for that bullseye! Esteban! <laughs> it's in the pool. Steven didn't make it to the board, so he gets zero mm. points. Uh, the, the pool is 50 points. Steven the competition with 10 points, which is not good enough to beat Derek, so he is out of the competition. <sighs> Taylor did not make the board, so she got zero points. Taylor finished the competition with zero points, which was not good enough to beat Derek, so she is eliminated from this competition. I couldn't see myself. I think I'm going home. <laughs> Jordan got 25 points. I get it again. Jordan finished the competition with 50 points, which puts her at a tie with Derek. Blake, Blake, Blake. Blake gets another five points. Yes. Blake finished the competition with 15 points, which does not put her in first place, so she is eliminated from the competition. It's time for a tiebreaker. Here we go, baby! <laughs> Derek did not make it on the board, so he gets zero points.
Johnny. No! Jordan got 25 points, which makes her the champion of the last chance challenge. I saved myself again, again, I done it. I thought I had that competition in the bag, but Jordan comes out of nowhere, knocks out these three 25s, or two 25s, I don't know what she's at. Anyway, she hits that final 25, blows me out of the water. I was rigged. I did maybe on Taylor. Well, Steven, Jordan did the impossible. Yep, she won the last chance competition. Stick with the plan? Stick with the plan. Eliminators. I'm thinking to use that hourglass on you. Really? Not on yourself? Yeah, because I feel like they're not coming af after me. I feel like they're coming after you. Like, maybe if I use it on you, they'll, um, They'll uh, save you, and um, you'll know that I'm loyal. Well, why would you use it on you? Just because I want to save you, you know? I'm not like asking you to do that, but if that would have happened, that would be amazing. So Jordan told me that she's thinking about putting the hourglass safety on Taylor? That's crazy, no one does that. Like, they're supposed to save themselves, that's the whole point. If I had the hourglass, I would just save myself. As Sody Boss, I just want to congratulate you for your win. You won it fair and square. Good job. I don't want to say, sound mean or anything, but I did not think you were going to win. I thought that was definitely going to win. So, obviously, you're going to be using it on yourself, but... Mm. Jordan? What? You're, you're using it on yourself, right? I don't know. I just have to think about it. Jordan! What? You, you, you don't know if you're gonna use it on yourself? Yeah. <sighs> Dude, no sleeping. I'm tired. There's work to do, man. What? I don't know, what's going on in the house? Have you heard anything with what Jordan's gonna do? Well, Steven's told me that Jordan might use the power to yeah, of course. use somebody else. Wait, not on herself. She's not gonna, she might not save herself. She might Should use it to Taylor? save Taylor. What? I, I don't know. This is just what I've heard. Well, it doesn't make sense to me. So if she takes herself off, who do you think Steven's gonna put up? Um, we were talking. We're thinking maybe Peyton or Blake. And if she takes Taylor off, is it the same plan or is it? Yeah, just so you it just one of one of those two probably. Who are we targeting though this week to get out? I don't know. I was hoping for maybe Taylor staying on and Jordan, but Jordan's gonna do something with that power, and so. Interesting. <sighs> so I feel pretty good about what's going on, but I'm not thrilled that Jordan won this competition. If she takes herself down or Taylor down, if they get like a thought of who they should really put up, it might be me. It doesn't make sense to me that they're just gonna put up Blake or Peyton. Fingers crossed that they make a big move. It's not for me. I can't believe that Jordan may use the hourglass to save me. <sighs> I'm being honest. I, don't, I just don't know what I'm gonna do with this thing. I understand like why people want me to save myself. But if I save Taylor, she'll own me forever. And I really don't think they're coming after me. It's such a hard decision. I heard some news. From who? From who? <laughs> From a reliable source. Okay. That no matter who comes off the block, Blake or Peyton are probably going up. They didn't say anything about me? Not one more. Okay. Have you heard other things? No, I haven't. I'm I'm worried they're gonna put you or me up on the block, personally, but they said and I I think I believe them, they're just gonna go for like they're probably just trying to do something small, not do something too. Okay. I just don't feel like I have any kind of relationship with that side of the house and with the guys and I barely have started to try to get a relationship with the girls. I kind of just feel like I don't have anybody You feel here. like you don't have anyone in the house? I mean... Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. If 
what we need is for we need to convince Jordan to take herself off the block. Okay. Because I think we're gonna have a hard time if it's one of us against Jordan. But one of us against Taylor is a good argument because she's a strong competitor. And, and they want to send her home. Okay, I can do that. Hey, uh, Jordan. <laughs> To you real quick, yeah. Before anyone comes in, real quick. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm just, I'm just thinking. I think it would be really smart for you to use um, the last chance trophy on yourself. Um, I, just hear me out. I think they that they may be coming for you, and if you save yourself, then we can try to get enough votes to save Taylor too. Okay. Yeah. So I think you should maybe use it on yourself. Okay. You think so? Yeah. Okay, good talk. Remember? Thank you. Blake, if I were you, I wouldn't feel safe right now. So I won the last chance competition. I have the hourglass power. Which means I can save someone from the block. I choose to save myself. Since one of my nominees removed themselves from the block, I get to choose a different one. And I choose in the nicest way possible, Jamie. <gasps> oh my goodness. I'm sorry. Wow. Doesn't mean I want you to get kicked out though. This last chance ceremony is adjourned. So, uh, I, uh, didn't see that coming. I think I'm going home. Wow. I mean, that's not good. Plan worked perfectly. Hey. Hey. I didn't have the thing on. Everything seems to be going as planned, Derek. I know. Jordan got herself off the block. Jamie is now on the block. I mean, I thought we were gonna have to wait for our plan to go down, but that worked perfectly. So, what do we do now? I don't know. Who do you think we vote for? Who do you think we get out? Um, if I'm gonna be honest, I think we vote your, I think we vote Jamie out. We need to get some adults out, yes. But Taylor is kind of an enemy right now, so I think, our goal is we vote mom out, and then you win next to the boss. And then we focus fire on Taylor. Yes. Sounds good to me. Eliminators. All right, guys, I know that we've been on like opposite sides of the <laughs> Sodi house. I want, and I want to make a deal with you. If you don't vote me out next time, if I'm in the Sodi boss, I will not put either of you guys up. How can I trust you can't that? Though? Do it. I'm desperate. I'm just letting you know. We'll think oh, about it. Me. I'll tell you what. If you double cross us, out of here. We will rain fire down upon you. Just consider it. Oh man. So what are you thinking? Um. I think we take Jamie out of the house. We need to. We need to get her out. I feel like she's kind of pulling strings out in the background. You know what I mean? I feel like I don't. I feel like she's just kind of hanging out. And I feel. I'm pretty sure she's kind of like a ring leader with the girls, without the girls really knowing. She's kind of like you don't think in their group, but she's also seems like she wants to be in our group. Like everything that I've talked to her about, she's she seems like super nice to both sides, and I feel like she's got some sort of master plan going on. So uh, I'm pretty sure we're all gonna be voting her out. Are you in? Okay, this is how it's gonna go. Both of you are gonna vote Jamie off. Correct? Mm -hmm. Vote for Jamie, we're gonna save Taylor. What do you say? Didn't you wanna save Taylor? Yeah. You can save Taylor now. So what we do is you vote Jamie, okay? Okay. Are you gonna vote Jamie? Fine. Fine, I need a yes, positive yes. Are you gonna vote Jamie? You yes. don't want to be on our bad side, okay? A bad side? All right, Sony House guests, it's time for the elimination ceremony. Because I am Sody House boss, I will not be voting unless there's a tie. We will be voting secretly in the diary room. You now both 
of a chance to plead your case. I'll go first. Um, all I have to say real quick is that there is definitely a side to this house of people that are running it and they think that they're in charge and they are swaying you guys to make decisions that probably aren't in the best interest for you. I love Taylor, I don't wanna send her home, but um, you guys need to vote for yourselves. Don't let someone convince you of something to do. Do what's best for you um, and that other side of the house, you know who you are. Guys, I don't want to go home yet. I just want to be here and make some more friends before going home. All right, guys, it's time to cast your votes. I vote to kick Jamie out of this house. This is going to be a really hard choice, but I'm, I vote out Jamie. Hi, Cara. I'm going to vote for Taylor. I'm really sorry, but I vote Jamie out of the house. Guys, I say this in the nicest way possible. Whoever is eliminated must immediately leave the house with a vote of three to two. Taylor, you are safe. Jamie, you must leave the house. I am just so shocked that Jamie got sent home. I'm just devastated. I'm so happy I was saved, but I kind of feel bad for Jamie because we like just made something, a group, and then she went home. But I'm excited that I'm still. Only one person gets to win $100,000, and that's gonna be me. Yeah. I was really hoping Taylor was gonna go home. So, how do you feel about mom being voted out? Uh, that was a tough one. But, we got the boys crew, we gotta stick together with it. It had to be done, I feel like. I mean, she's a big threat in the game. She could have won this thing. Mm -hmm. Now it's just a matter of like winning another one and we just keep protecting each other till we get to the final three and battle it out. Yep. How are you feeling being a Saudi boss and not being able to compete? I just hope one of you two win. Game. Oh, hi, Saudi Showdown House guests. Are you ready for another Saudi boss competition? Steven is ineligible to play. And the rest of the six house guests will battle for power. Who's ready to play? Boss Pong. Good luck, Saudi House guests. Are you guys ready to play Boss Pong? Since I was the last Sony boss, I will not be participating in this competition. Each cup has one of the house guest names in it. Each contestant will try to bounce the ping pong ball into the cup. Into the cup. Into the cup. I think Steven isn't playing. Whatever cup that ball lands in, the person's name that's in there is eliminated from the challenge. The last house guest standing is the new Sony boss. Are you guys ready to play? Boss Alright, I go first. You got it, Jordan. Oh! If you fail to make it in, your turn is over. Wish me luck, guys. No luck. Whoa, oh, Whoa. wow. It's pro time. Oh. Ah. It was nothing. Alright, Derek made the ping pong ball into a cup. Let's see who the first person eliminated is. Derek, you eliminated Blake. It's not me. Whew. All right, here goes nothing. Oh. There I go. Oh. Oh. All right, Steve is the second person to make his ping pong ball into a cup. And Dad, you eliminated Derek. Oh. I'm sorry, Derek. This game is rigged. Here it goes. Taylor, you are 
the third person to get your ping pong ball into a cup. And Taylor, you eliminated Jordan. Oh, that was gonna be me. Boom! I really hope that's not my cup. Steve made another ball into the cup. And he eliminated Peyton. All right, this is it. Steve made the last ping pong ball into the cup. The name that I read is eliminated. Steve, you are out of the competition. Oh. <laughs> Which means Taylor is now the Sony boss. <laughs> Congratulations. Good job, Taylor. You're welcome. I bet you surprised to see me again. I'm here to announce a twist. Congratulations, Taylor. You're the new Sody boss. But instead of nominating two Sody house guests, you're gonna nominate three. And by the end of the day, one will remain in the house. Which means two house guests are gonna be sent home. Sody house guests, be thinking of who you want to say. No. I'm actually happy. I should've won. <laughs> so Taylor, you're the new Sony boss. Yes. I just wanna plead my case a little bit. <clears throat> I know Stephen put you on the block and everything, and so was your mom, but I just want you to know that I voted to send Jamie home and not you. Just a thought. You know, I wasn't the one that kinda tried to get you off, so. That's all I'm saying here, okay? Okay. Okay, just, just saying we can be a powerful friendship. <laughs> okay. All right, Taylor. Who are you planning on putting up on the block? I don't know. I could test you. To tell me who's going up on the block, I'll find out either way. <laughs> just what's your plan? Blake, <clears throat> Jordan, and you. You know, I I don't even know what to do here. I, I I can't even find a way to like convince you otherwise. That's it. All right. Goodbye, household. <coughs> <laughs> when it was final two, I had to act like I was angry, but I was like, they don't know we're working together. So who are you gonna put up? Blake, Jordan, and Steven. You don't think you should put Derek? No. Why not? Well, Steven is attacking me. Steven and Derek are both attacking you. But Jordan said... But Jordan should go up. Yes. 100%. Steven, 100%. Then it's like, do you put Blake or Derek up? Yeah, I don't know. It's your choice. It's your, you're the boss, so whatever you choose. Okay. And then we just gotta win the competition. Okay. Good job. I wouldn't put me on the block because we have three teams. The just now three girls and the pinky promises and the three but you voted me to leave the house i know it's just because we had that conversation with mom uh, and i was in that conversation i just felt really bad sending mom home all i'm saying is i don't know who i'm exactly going to put on the block neither do i all right, Sony House guests. Since I'm a Sony boss, I get to pick three people for elimination. My first nominee is Blake. Oh my goodness! You get the necklace, Blake. Oh man. <laughs> the next nominee is Jordan. I knew it. I knew it. And my last nominee for the elimination is Steven. Oh! <laughs> I knew it. Take a seat, Steven. Just these noodles.
Last Cast. It's me again. But and it's time for another Last Chance Challenge. Every house guest will be competing in this challenge. For the Hourglass Trophy, the winner will have the power to take someone off the block or save themselves. Who's ready to play? I can go home. Good luck, Sody House guests. Heading up to the back deck. All right, guys, who's ready to play hide and go home? Woo! Woo! Sure. Let's go. Yeah. Each house guest gets 30 seconds to hide their chip inside the Sody House. Then each house guest will get a chance to try and find as many chips as they can. The name on the last chip is the winner of the game. I go first. I have in here. That's the hiding spot for my chip. There's a simple ring. Here, we can't find it. All right, it's time to hide my chip next. All right, let's see here. Yes. My goal is to hide it when no one will be find it. It might be good. I might turn. put it in here. Then I feel like someone's just gonna look in this because it's standing right here. Perfect. Mm. Okay, yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to be here. All right, it's my turn, and I'm pretty sure I know where I'm gonna put it. I just need to make sure nobody's looking. I'm gonna put it there. Um, I can't see. Can someone, can you lift it up for me, camera person? Oh gosh, dang it. All right, so my first plan doesn't work, so I'm gonna put it all the way in the back. And no one will ever find it. Zip it right up, and then pretend I'm doing something over here. Let's go like this and go. I feel pretty good about my hiding spot. Nobody's gonna look inside that pillow. All right, time to hide. <laughs> Plain sight, baby. Just get that right in there. Woo! All right. Let's see. I risk, I put it in there. That could be bad. It's like plain sight, but no one's gonna notice it. Now that the chips have been hidden, every house guest will go into the Sodi house and try to find as many chips as they can. Once the chip has been found, they can't search anymore. The last chip standing wins. <laughs> hey. Hey. Now, let me. Oh. Yeah. I found Blake's chip. <laughs> I found one! I found Steve's chip! So I ran over and I figured I'd search right by where my thing was so other people would go other places. Didn't work. My chip was the second one found. I'm noticing as we're playing, Pan keeps finding a bunch of chips.
What's this? You can go in here. Ooh. Don't do it, Kelly. Hold on, I'm looking. <laughs> I see Get it. Get off of me. I don't do it. I don't do it. So I was trying my best to keep looking in the, in the same area as where I hid my thing so then people wouldn't go over there. So I was blocking it with my body, looking through drawers, taking my good old time, and then Taylor comes over, sees it, pushes me out of the way, and finds my dang chip. We were getting close to my chip, but no one was finding it. I might need help lifting up the couch. You can't find any. There's like one's in here. No. Like, opened. The I opened them. I found one. To check in. But I couldn't find any. Good job. I feel like one's right mom. here, but we can't see it. Mama, I found one watermelon. Mama. Steven? What? Steven, you're eliminated. <laughs> While Peyton was looking all through that pillow, I was like holding my breath, hoping she wouldn't find it, but she didn't. She found it. You are absolutely freaking no, cheating. No, I was like, you came back to that pillow three times. I, mean, I saw you looking through the window when I was hiding it. You're a big it's, cheater. It's because you were looking, keep on looking back at me when I was doing it and I looked at you and you were like this. No, I was yeah. not looking at you. Yeah. This is ridiculous. Other house guests were getting out of the competition, but I was staying strong. Hello? I can't, I wasn't tall. Is there any back there? Are you sure someone would hide it where they were? No. When it was down to me and Payton, I could feel I was gonna win. Could you imagine winning the Sony Boss and the Last Change Challenge? Taylor. I know, she found mine. I found yours, Taylor. Wait, does that mean I'm the hourglass trophy winner? Pay for my chip. <sighs> so, uh, yeah, this just happened. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do. So what do you guys think that pain's gonna do? I, I think that she's gonna just leave it the same way. And I mean, I hope she just takes me out, but I think it's gonna go the same way. It's just I gonna mean, be the same she's thing. she's been having some fun with Blake, and maybe she's gonna take Blake off. That's true, she can take Blake off, or you. I don't think she's taking Steven off. Thing is, anytime you ask her, she said she's keeping it a secret. She's gonna spread everybody. So. I don't know, it's gonna be a shocker. Either. I don't know who it's if gonna she be, gets off, but Jordan. she's not telling anybody. The question is, who's Taylor gonna put up? It would either be one of you two. Well, it have to be. Oh, that's all I could do. <laughs> Alright guys, since I won the last chance trophy, I could use it to save somebody or keep the nominations the same. I choose to not use it. I am going to keep the nominations the same.
good decision to not use the hourglass trophy. But I really did feel bad for Blake. Everything is working out perfectly and everything's going to plan. My goal is to convince everyone to save Blake. Steven and Jordan need to go. So you guys are casting the votes. I'm wondering, who are you thinking? I haven't decided yet, I don't know what to do. What do you think? How do you think we should vote? All right, so with everything changing, it's kind of like two people are gonna go home and one's gonna stay. And so we have three people that we have to choose from. We have Steven, Blake, and Jordan, right? Yes. And us three are voting, and we're voting for one person to stay. Well, are we all in agreement that Blake needs to go? Well, personally, I want Blake to stay. I just would really like for Steven and Jordan to go. Just remember, if you vote my way, I'll consider you loyal. I don't really know who should stay. Hmm. I don't know, it's, it's a tough one because I, I can go both ways. Steven and I are kind of in this alliance, but I get that he could be some competition later on, but I don't know. Yeah, Steven could be uh, hard to beat sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. I guess we just got to keep our options open. I'm going to see what Steve thinks and go from there. Decisions, decisions. So, is it on? Are we still doing what we're planning on doing? I think so. What do you think Peyton's gonna do? I guess it doesn't matter, we have total say. Yeah, Peyton can do whatever she wants. When it comes down to it, our majority wins. Let's do it. So, uh, have you decided what you're doing? Like, am I safe? Um, I don't know. We're just kind of. I'm just kind of seeing what everybody else wants to do right now. I don't know. Mm. You don't know. All right. What happens if I decide to keep you? I mean, I'm 50% of who stays no matter what. Uh huh. Because you got to assume Peyton's probably taking a girl. I would think. Derek's so. probably taking you. So really, I'm the final decision. I mean, what can I? Mm -hmm. What kind of promises am I getting? It feels like you and Derek are really close, but what does that mean for me? Like maybe splitting you two up is a good thing for me. I don't, I wouldn't say so though. Because we've been on your side since pretty much like the very beginning. We've been helping you out. We've never put you on the blog. And we've been like Sody Boss almost all but once. So if you win the next Sody Boss, I won't go on the block? Yeah, you won't go on the block. It's time for the elimination ceremony. Since I'm the sorry boss, I will not be voting who gets to stay in the house. And thus there is a tie. Remember house guests, we are voting who stays this time. Either Jordan, Blake, or Steven. Before we vote, each house gets to say why they should stay in the house. Well, I think I should stay because if I get the sorry boss, I, I won't put my friends on the block. Cause I kill. I just want to say this real quick. Jordan said she would keep all her friends on here, but she hasn't been friends with the boys and betrayed all the girls, and her only friend is Blake, who is on the block. Just saying. All right, house guests, let the voting begin. I feel like Blake should stay. Love you, Mom, Dad. I want to save Steven. I'm going to save Steven. All right, house guests, the results are in. We're gonna name the person that is saved. The other two house guests will be eliminated and must leave the Sody house. So, Steven, you are saved. Yes! Yes, I'm still in! Yes! Blakey, I'm still in, I'm so sorry. So Jordan and Blake must leave the Sody house. Oh, sorry, Blake. I'm sorry. Sorry, Blake. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <clears throat> so not fair. I am so glad I was saved. 
But I want to know who voted for me if it ended up being like a tie and or like what happened. I want to know how this all went down. All I can say is I'm so happy I'm still in the house. I didn't want Steven to stay. I wanted Blake to stay. I guess everyone's not playing on my side. I gotta figure out who it was. Dude. There's like hardly any girls left in this house. I know, we're... Mm -hmm. it's a, I, if I'm thinking, it's gonna be down to like us three at the end, probably. Um, one of us three wins this competition. That could be the end of another girl. Mm -hmm. This thing's almost over. Look, I'm just gonna say this right Unless now. Unless there's more twists. We need to get the girls out because they've made more alliances with the people eliminated. So at the very end, if they end up voting for yeah. us, we need, to, we need to cut out all the girls so that Whoever ends up between us three doesn't have to go and against a girl. Taylor's not competing in this next competition. Mm -hmm. It's that's us three against Payne. <laughs> oh, well, that's going to be easy. Which means one of us win. I know for sure who the two people are going up. Yeah. But Derek and them. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> but but who are we going to vote out between the two of them? Doesn't matter. We're, just, we're a train now. Just get rid of one of them? We're a freight train. Mm -hmm. I feel like Taylor was more of a threat. but We're going to call ourselves the trainees. We already have a name. We're the Eliminators. Uh, I wasn't part of the Eliminators. Well, it was when we were are. locked in that room. Wow. Now go. Did you vote with Steven? I didn't. You had to have been Peyton. I know Derek did. But Peyton must be playing both sides. So I guess it's just me and you now. It's those three against me and you. We're gonna have to win. Okay. Oh, you're not in it. I have to win this comp this next competition. We can do it. Oh. Hello, Sody House guests. Are you ready for another Sody Boss competition? Where you will compete for the power of the house. And I get to nominate two people for elimination. Who's ready to play Sody Mac? Head on over to the theater. Good luck, Sody House guests. Sody House guests! Who's ready to play Sody Match? Since I was the last Sody boss, I will not be competing. For this competition, each house guest must match this Lego build and then build it inside the theater room. Right here. The person who can match it correctly the fastest is the new Sody boss! Get ready to play? On the side, then it's five across here. I need to go look at it. Ah! All right, it's my turn.
yes, 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 yes. I think it was eight. I think it was eight. Oh no. Four on each side probably. That's right. That's right. And then like this. And then it cuts across. So one, two, three. Now it interchanges like this, I believe. To those. This. Tiny little blocks. this thing was it yellow it was two yellows it was two ye wait was it eight and then two all right i'm already building it wrong you know i felt pretty good about it i felt like i had to go back a few times because i messed up because i kept interlocking in like the wrong place and i realized that not everything was connected but i think i did pretty well I saw this competition and I realized it's really hard. Come on. I'm going too slow. Seven, eight. Oh, that's not going to work. Okay, here, here, here. tiring than it looks. You're running back and forth, trying to remember things. It's not as easy as you think just to be like, build a little Lego house. But I think I did pretty good. I think I have a really good chance of winning, even though I wasn't positive I needed to. I wanted to get this win and control the house this week. Oh, but there's more blocks. I'm done. Alright, Sony House guests, are you ready for the results of the Sony Match competition? Peyton finished with a time of 8 minutes and 15 seconds. Steve finished with a time of 5 minutes and 15 seconds. Yeah. Which puts him in first place. Sorry, Peyton. Steven finished a time of six minutes, which was not good enough to beat Steve. He is in, still in first place. And Darren finished with a time of three minutes and 35 seconds. Oh. Woo! Actually, yeah, that's like destroyed it. So walking up, as soon as I saw that it was a Lego challenge, I knew I was super confident walking in. I knew it was gonna be easy. And I know that I was the fastest person to do it because I'm good at building Legos, plain and simple. Which is also the fastest time. Derek, you are the winner. Looks like I'm the new Sody Boss. Uh, I think Derek's probably gonna put up the two girls, but I also think that Steven and Derek are playing for each other, and I'm the third wheel. They're probably just lying to me. Hmm. Maybe I should start lying to some people. I'm the only house guest that's won Sody Boss twice. I think people are gonna start coming after me. I need to be really smart with who I put up this week. Maybe I need to send a big player home. Looks like another easy week for me. Things are going great. Eliminators. So what are you thinking, Derek? So obviously you guys know who I'm nominating this week. I mean, it's pretty- Woo! Eliminators! Unless I decide to make a big move, but... Oh. Um, you go for Eliminators! 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 
So which one's going home first, Taylor or Peyton? Taylor. Um, I think Derek's gonna put up the two girls. So I think you really need to push hard to try to convince him that Steven has been trying to team up with you on the side. So that maybe he puts Steven up instead. Okay. Okay. Just a shot. I mean, you're going up probably no matter what, unless you can get Steven on there. Okay. Good luck. This cake is so hard. I feel like I'm getting picked on over and over again. Obviously, I know what Derek's going to do, and I don't like it. Like, I wanted to let you know that Steven came up to me today, and we had a little bit of a conversation. He said he will keep me safe next week if we work together. Uh, I just thought I'd let you know. Uh, yeah, Steven said none of that. I think you should put Steven or Steven on the block because if you if you don't, I mean, they might there might be a hard competition to beat, and I'm not. Hmm, got a point. So uh, I think they're just gonna listen to me. <laughs> All right, Sody House guests, it's time for the nomination ceremony. As the Sodi boss, it is my duty to nominate two house guests to be up on the block. Remember, you can still save yourself in the last chance challenge. With that being said, my first nomination is somebody who I feel could be a good ally, but I gotta put them through the ringer a little bit to see if they're really on my side. And that person is Peyton. My first time being on the pool. What? And my second nominee is somebody who I feel is a little bit threatening at times, but other times not so much. And I just feel this is the safest option. I'm sorry, Steve. What? What? Okay. I thought it was gonna be me. Now they definitely play. All right, guys, the nomination ceremony is adjourned. <laughs> I knew this day was coming. I guess it's time to step my game up. I am not going home that easy. Uh, we knew though, guys, that it was those two against us, right? Yeah. So, Peyton, one of us, if one of us wins, any of us, we can get Steven on the block, and then we control the votes. Then we will vote Steven out. If I win, I'll get one of you guys on the block, but then... Ideally, Taylor, you win, you take one of us off, and he has to put Steven up. And on Derek's reign, Steven goes home. Steven, they are not happy. Definitely. Did you put Steve up on the block? I, I don't know. I feel like I can trust you pretty good, mm -hmm. but Steve was still the wild card in the alliance. Yeah, he, he kind of came in a little bit later, and he was very sus. He was pretty salty when like the secrets went around and he felt like he wasn't a part of things. And then, might I say, I'm pretty sure he was the one of the people that told one of the girls about the secret room that we found. That's true. I'm just trying to weed out the herd and get down to the true alliance, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh. I mean, neither me and Peyton have them yet, so... Yeah. I mean... Yeah. Has Derek been on the block yet? I don't think so. It's okay to put in the block, Peyton. I've been on the one... Cheer up, Peyton. We need you to have a good attitude. We need one of us to win this thing. Yeah, I don't think she's gonna handle this well. It's not good. Hello, Sony House guests. Who's ready for another last chance challenge? In this challenge, each Sony House guest will compete for the Hourglass Trophy. The winner gains 
safety. And can switch up with the nominations. This is a very important last chance competition. Who's ready to play? So they show down, show down. Heading over to the theater room. Good luck, house guests. All right, who's ready to play? Sodi Showdown Showdown. Me. We have drawn names at random. In this competition, a video will play on the screen. The first house guest to buzz in with the correct answer moves on. But if you get it wrong, you're eliminated. The winner of the first round will pick the next two contestants to compete. The last house guest standing wins the Hourglass Trophy. The first two that was selected was me and Taylor. All right, Sony House Guest, are you ready for the first video? Yes. Yes. Are you ready for the Sony Showdown? Ten House Guests, six weeks, only one winner, with $100,000 at stake. These house guests will compete each week to see who will control the house. Blake was wearing a yellow dress. Who was the other house guest that had yellow on their clothes? What? <laughs> Peyton. The correct answer was Steve. I'm eliminated and out of the competition. Who gets on the first round? Oh yeah, I do. I'm staying in the competition and I choose Peyton and Steven for the next round. I won the first round. I'm feeling pretty good. All right, house guests, are you ready for round two? We're ready. Yeah, yeah. Hey, he's actually hurt. Pause. Pause. He's hurt. When Derek tragically was injured in the slip and leave competition, what color was Peyton's shirt? Pink! Get out of here. Shoot. I already got it right. I know I got it. The correct answer was pink. Let's go! Let's go! I get to move on, and the next two house guests are Steve and Derek. Well, that was easy. Sayonara, Peyton. Are you ready? Yep. Yes. Hey. Hey. I'm gonna have to clean off. Everything seems to be going as planned, Derek. I know. Jordan got herself off the block. Jamie is now on the block. I mean, I thought we were gonna have to wait for our plan to go down, but that worked perfectly. So, what do we do now? I don't know. Who do you think we vote for? Who do you think we get out? Um, I'm gonna be honest. I think we vote. Your, I think we vote Jamie out. We need to get some adults out. Yes, but Taylor is kind of an enemy right now. So I think. Our goal is we vote them all out, and then you win next to the boss. And then we focus fire on Taylor. Yes. Sounds good to me. Eliminators. Derek and Steven made plans to eliminate Jamie. But did they shoot more or less than 25 baskets? <sighs> this was a tough competition. They're asking these questions. I'm trying to look at the whole screen. And there's just information everywhere because you don't know if they're going to ask what color shirt's going to happen or what is it, it's going to be. Not easy. Shoot or make? I don't know it. Final answer, less. The answer is more. Not going home. I guess I'm eliminated. Well, this is disappointing. I lost on a question about myself. So, that sucks. All right, I'm moving on. Looks like it's me versus Steven. 
Are you ready? Yep. Yep. Absolutely freaking cheating! Yeah. You came back to that pillow three times. I saw you looking through the window when I was hiding it. You're a big cheater. You were looking. People were looking back at me when I was doing it. And you're like this. No, I was not looking at you. This is ridiculous. During Stephen and Peyton's big blowout battle, who won? The tic-tac-toe game, X's or O's? It was a tie. The correct answer was the O's. Yes, I mean! Woo! Oh, was a tie. I win! Woo! Last chance! Last chance! What? Gosh dang it! Bring on the hourglass. Guys, what's up? I managed to win this. I didn't answer one question. <laughs> I sat there and let everyone else get it wrong. And you better believe I'm using this thing. Why would I even be looking at the tic-tac-toe board? I even knew what toys in the background of the thing were. <sighs> All right, well, since I won the hourglass trophy, it gives me the power to remove somebody from the block. And before I do that, I want you to know that me taking myself off the block I'm giving you someone else. I want you to know that I'm coming for you. Next week, you, Steven, block home. I'm not done. We'll see. Me, this wasn't part of Get my right decision to put you up there. Oh, please, you're both done. Since I removed myself from the block, you have the weak power to put someone else up. That was a bit dramatic. And since that I am the Sodi boss, I'm putting up Taylor. All right, well, I'm off the block. That's huge news. So now it's up to me and Steven to decide who is gonna stay and who's gonna go home. And if it's a tie, Derek has to make the final choice. So, Peyton or Taylor? I'm on the block again. Steve saved himself and I was the replacement. Can't catch a break. So I hate being on the block, but I'd rather be against Taylor than Steve. I don't think I'm gonna stay in the house over Taylor. <sighs> so Steven, who do you think we should be voting for? So it's between Taylor and Peyton, right? Yes, Which those one? are the ones on the block, Steven. Yeah, yeah. Which one do we think is more of a threat? Mm. I don't, I don't really know, because it seems to switch off between weeks. You know, like, Taylor's really threatening one week, and then Peyton is showing... But I feel like Taylor has more blood against us than Peyton. That is true. If we get rid of Taylor, then we can say, hey, Peyton, we spared you mm -hmm. while you work with us. Also, no matter what, me and you have the winning vote. No matter what happens here. Steven, we need to trick Steve into voting out Peyton so then we can get Peyton to be on our side. Yeah. All right, so we're deciding who stays and who goes home, man. Mm -hmm. Did you have anything to do with putting me up on the block? No, I didn't. I honestly thought we were putting up Taylor and Peyton and we were gonna try to vote out Taylor. That's all I knew. So Derek's the backstabber. Yeah, Derek, when he put that up there, I was like completely in shock. Okay, so who do we think we should send home? I think we should head send on Peyton. I mean, Peyton? She's kind of, I feel like she's kind of in the back pulling her strings. Like, I haven't really had a good relationship with her. Like, I don't know what she's doing yeah. ever. I think she's probably in the back, like pulling her strings and stuff. I think that's not like, the worst idea. Mm -hmm. If we just felt the same, yeah. we kind of have a smooth ride going next week. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, Sodi house guests, it's time for another elimination ceremony. Since I am the Sodi boss, I will not be voting, unless there's a tie. Before we vote, we'll let the two house guests lead their case. I'll go first. Guys, I really don't want you to vote me out because I, this is like the first time to be on the show and I will, I 
form is not being nice. I just want to get to the final three. I don't think you should vote me out because Taylor could have could could be harder to beat. So. <laughs> All right, house guests, it's time to vote. This is a big one. I vote for Taylor to leave the house. I vote for Peyton to leave the house. All right, so the house guests, the results are in. Once I say the name of the house guest, you must leave the house immediately. The results are a tie. Since it is a tie, I will be the tiebreaker and I will choose who must leave the Sodi house. I'm sorry to say this, but Taylor, you must leave the house. Getting $100,000. I got this. Another one bites the dust. That felt so good. Steven, I can't compete in the next Sodi Boss competition, so it's all up to you. It's all on your shoulders. You gotta be in charge. You gotta do something. Because Steve's coming after me because I put him up, and I'm sure Peyton is not very happy that I put her on the block. That's not good. All right. So I'm gonna win this. We're gonna put Steven Payne up, eliminate one of them, and get the show. Sounds like a plan to me. Eliminators. Eliminators. Hi, Sony House guests. It's time for another Sony Boss competition. This one is perhaps the most important of all. Hopefully, you guys are ready. And did a little bit of stretching. Because you guys are going to be playing Laser Maze. All right, Sody House guests, who's ready to play Laser Maze? Since Derek was the last Sody boss, he will not be competing in this competition. Each Sody member has to make their way through the Laser Maze. The objective is to find all four digits to the combination for the secret room. Whoever can make it into the secret room in the least amount of time wins. By random draw, the order will be me, Payton, and Steve. Oh yeah, and if you touch a laser, you have to go back to the start. Good luck, house guests. And did a little bit of stretching. <sighs> All right, Sody house guests, who's ready to play Laser Maze? Since Derek was the last Sody boss, he will not be competing in this competition. Each Sody member has to make their way through the laser maze. The objective is to find all four digits to the combination for the secret room. Whoever can make it into the secret room in the least amount of time wins. By random draw, the order will be me, Payton, and Steve. Oh yeah, and if you touch your laser, you have to go back to the start. Good luck, house guests. So my plan is, I'm going to start on this side of the room, and then move all the way along to the secret room, because I feel like that's probably the order that the code is going to be in, so... I already don't like this. Alright, here we go. Whoa. Green, yellow, red, blue... Okay, whatever. Here we go. I got this. Don't touch the lasers. Okay. All right. Okay. Blue, red, yellow, green. Blue, red, yellow, green. We got blue, red, green. I don't see yellow. Okay. I'm going for red first. I 
gotta stay low. I think. This is gonna be tough. Oh my god. Two, two. 
six. Okay. Wait, where's the other pad? Oh my gosh. This is like super risky. Is there like a laser underneath me? No, I'm good. Who's that yellow one? It's gotta be over here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Got it. Mm, I don't like this. I really don't like this. Don't touch anything, please. I just need one more number. It's just right there where I could do this. I have to hurry up fast though. Okay, hopefully I don't touch anything. I can really see it, okay. Oh no. Go for the easier way. And here. One. What? Um, I don't know how to go back. Okay, down here. Down here. Um, I'm scared. I can't go through this. <laughs> it's like I've got to choose the right path. That one looks like it's got way more stuff. I'm going this way. Oh, I tore my sock. <laughs> I think I should just give up at this point. All right, I can do this, then I'm there. Okay, okay, okay. One. I wanna go back now, I'm so close. No! The easiest pattern to go is No! No! You're right there, Green. Finally, finally, finally. Six. Six. Two. Six. Okay, I'm pretty much wide open from here. Boom, boom. Uh, maybe it's not wide open from here. Aha. I'm not touching it this time. I'm not, I'm not. Skip the blue one, so I don't know one of the numbers. I have three of the four, but I know the colors. I'm pretty sure blue is supposed to be the first number. That's my biggest problem. Then it's two, one, six. Maybe it's just the wrong button. Four, two, six, one. Ah! Oh, wait, 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 wait. What was that? What was the math at the beginning? It was, it was, it was blue on top left, 
red, top right, bottom left. Bottom left was yellow. Bottom left was yellow, then green. So it's four, two, one, six. Four, two, one, six. Oh, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Unfortunately, I did buzz a few times, but I think my time's pretty good. There's no way that Stephen Payton can get through faster than me. So you boss, come it up. <laughs> so I finished. And I don't know, my score is probably out there because it wasn't pretty. All right, guys, are you ready to hear the results? Yeah. Let's do it. Guys, I finished with a time of 12 minutes and 17 seconds. Not bad. Ping's time was 10 minutes and 12 seconds. Which means that Payton is in currently in first place, and I know it. And Steve finished with a time of 24 minutes and 18 seconds. Yeah! So Peyton winning was the worst possible scenario. I'm happy for Peyton, but I don't care who she nominates. It's all about the last chance challenge this week. All right guys, it's time for the nomination ceremony. Please have a seat at the table. Guys, since I'm the study boss, it's up to me to nominate two people for possible eviction. I just wanted to let you know it's been great playing with you. No more killings. Okay, my first nominee, I chose this person because someone that is that could be hard to beat, but possibly not. And that person is Steven. Oh, shots fired. He's looking sus with that hat on anyways. <laughs> Excuse me? The next person that I nominate is someone that uh, don't really trust. Dad. What? You, you do realize this, right? Me, I'm, I'm just saying this real quick. Me yeah. and Steve, we never put you on the block. Derek did. Mm, Dad just left me, me and on you, the block though. Me and Steve never put you on the block. That's it. I got that much more momentum for this last chance challenge. Good. Yeah. The nomination ceremony is officially over. I mean, really, at this point, this competition is like every man for himself. Like, whoever wins is the one that gets to choose two people to go. Then I know, someone else. I know we've been working together as much as we can this far, but you're right, yeah. this is... Every man for himself. I know, you can't do much. I just thought point. maybe Peyton was going to be on my side and help me out if she if something happened, but I guess she likes Derek, so now I can't trust anybody else. And I can't trust anybody either. I mean, I really have no idea why I'm not on the block right now, but... Sus. Well, if either if either of us win, well, you're going to have to go on the block. I better hope that I win then. Alright, I understand why you put me on, because I voted for Taylor. Okay, uh. here's the deal though. Those two are working together. I know. Me and you have the best chance if we're going up against those one of those two, not both of them. So I think this is good, because then they won't suspect it. They might not care if you win. But if you win, you should at least think about keeping me. Because then we can get rid of Derek, who's won the most competitions. And put me on the block. And a lot of people, for some reason, trust him. Like, you trust him. He put you on the block, and you still like him better than me. Yeah, I only had to vote for someone because he put you up there. So just think about it, but I understand. I'm not mad, but I am gonna, if one of us wins, we should really consider working together. I'll think about it. Hi, Sony House guests. 
more. Okay, here we go. Are you guys ready for the last, last chance challenge? Perhaps the most important challenge in the season. The winner gains all of the power of the house. Who's ready to play? Last catch <laughs> challenge. Good luck, sweetie house guest. Ta-ta. Yeah. All right, guys, who's ready to play last catch challenge? Each house guest gets to compete in this challenge. To play, each player will get 10 dodgeballs to throw at them. How many they catch is their number. The person that catches the most will get the hourglass trophy and gain control of the house. If you fall off the plank into the water, your turn is over. All right, we did random draw to see who goes first. And I'm first. Bring on the dodgeballs. All right, catching balls, this should be no problem though. Yes! No! No! It was crazy. They were like flying everywhere like that. Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! So close! There was like one way up here that I caught, but then there was one like under my legs and I couldn't catch. My turn. Bring on the dodgeballs. Look, I'm not the most agile person in this house, probably, but I did play sports, so I am thinking catching these balls, I might be pretty good at it. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna break this thing. Easy, easy money. That's four, baby. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm good. Oh my gosh, they were to the left. To the right. They were so high. <sighs> there were some that were so low that I was just, I couldn't get over myself to get down a lot far enough. I did not want to move and I was not gonna fall in. Four to five. Five out of six. Oh! Okay, five out of seven, I can live with that. Oh, I totally needed that. I hope I can still pull it off. Oh my gosh. Yes! Huge catch! Boom! Oh my gosh. I almost fell in. Oh yes! Yes, seven, seven. <sighs> I got seven points. Seven out of 10? That might not be beatable. I might have won. I came through big in a big moment. All right, it's my turn. Oh. Ah. Ah. I realize I can move my feet, but I don't. There was one that was way far to the left, didn't even register. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I just strained my back trying to keep myself from dying. Okay, okay, nice and easy. Oh, okay, spider reflexes right there. bounce back into my hands. There was one that went right through my legs, bounced through my hands a little bit. I really needed that one, and I could have had a better score. <sighs> All right, this is my last one. My legs are gonna give out. <laughs> oh my God. My ending score was five points. And I think that's a pretty good score, but I have a feeling some other people did better. Catching dodgeballs, I am not the best at that. I failed during the dodgeball section in gym. All right, it's my turn, here we go. Okay, I got one, this could work. All right, all right here we go. Oh, jeez, Louise. Oh my gosh, right through my hands. Oh. Oh, ha, ha. Okay, okay, I'm still at one, but I, I still have a chance, I still have a chance. I dropped another one. Oh! And another one. Oh! And another one. Still only got one. And oh! Ah! No! And another one. This isn't going so well. <laughs> it's so slippery. 
This is cheats because the balls are all slippery before me and it wasn't for the other people. Two, okay, see, see. All right, that's three, that's three, that's three. Come on, one more, one more. All right, last ball, here we go. The what had that, you cheater! I got three points. I got three, I should have had more. This is not gonna win me the challenge. All right, house guests, are you ready for the results? Each one of us is gonna take turns saying how much points we got. I got six points. Oh, I got seven points. What? What? I got a whopping five points. I got three points. <laughs> Wait, so I won. Oh, final three! Me and you, baby, final three! Yes! Ha! Bye, Derek. All right, Steve, you wear this hourglass. All right, well, since I have this, I have the power to remove somebody from the block, and I choose to remove myself. All right, Peyton, so you have to pick a replacement nominee. All right, it's my duty to pick a replacement for the nominee. And there's so many choices. Just joking. Derek, come back up. <laughs> and that's it for the last chance challenge. So let's come down to this. Me in charge. So, uh, plead your case, Derek. Here's the thing. <laughs> We're, we've been in this alliance, and I know it's been a little bit of a rocky start, but I think we can work together to get Peyton and Steven out, and then it's just mano y mano, a true challenge for the last bit. So if it was down to, if you win the next challenge and you have to pick one of me, Peyton or Steven, to go with you to the final two, who do you pick? I'd pick you at this point. I don't believe you though. Mm, that's up to you. <laughs> what I'm saying now is that we can work together. And I feel like if you're going up against Steven, that's too easy of a win. You know, you want something that's challenging, don't you? You want to go out with a bang. I mean, I. I will consider you over Steven because I feel like he hasn't really been on my side the whole time either. This was kind of a joint thing. He says he had nothing to do with me going on the block, but I don't totally believe you guys didn't make a joint decision. There's a lot of talk when it comes time for me or Steven being the Sodi boss. There's a lot of influence All right. when you're the Sodi boss. I'll take it into consideration. All right, dude. It's down to you or Derek. I have to pick. No. I want to I wanna talk to you about this for a little bit. We need to think in the long run and not just at this moment who you want to take out because Derek 100% will bring Peyton into the final round because he thinks he can beat Peyton. This entire time, he's always told me, I think we should keep Peyton because I have a feeling I can beat her in the long run. Yeah, but you do, didn't you guys have like a final deal? You only pretended to bring me in your lines. I had no clue that Was you... Was it your idea to put me on the block? No, I had zero idea. He randomly, like out of nowhere, he so, said he was... Our plan was... You had nothing to do with it. Our plan saying. was we were going to put up Peyton... But you just said that Derek wasn't going to put Peyton up. No, put Peyton up and then vote Taylor out. Which we did. We ended up voting Taylor out. But hmm. I think he would probably rather take Peyton. And 100% I am not taking Peyton up because... I know she has all the girls' votes. All right, let me think about it. <sighs> On one hand, I thought I knew what I wanted to do right out of the gates, but then after talking to both of them, I'm just not really sure what to do. You know, I did not think the Eliminators were gonna come down like this, but once Derek put Steve on the block, that's when everything went down. You know, it's kind of sad that one of us two is going home tonight, but I mean, well, I just gotta stick up for myself now and keep on going. The talk with Steve, I think, went well. Sorry to say, but I think Derek's going home. I got a bad feeling about this. All right, house guests, it's time for the elimination ceremony. Steve, you'll be the deciding vote to see who goes home tonight. Okay. As, as soon as Steve votes, the person that he chose to leave the house must leave the house immediately. You both have a couple seconds to plead your case. You know, I pleaded most of my place when I was talking to you earlier, but I'm just saying, I don't know. 
Just please keep me in, I guess, for now. I mean, there's nothing really I can say right now to change into anybody's mind, but let's just keep it interesting. That's all I gotta say. Alright, Steve, it's time for you to vote who's leaving. Alright. Well, I just want the person who I'm choosing to know that it's strictly because I think it would have been really hard to beat you, so Derek, I'm choosing to eliminate you. <sighs> Goodbye, Derek. It's the end of the eliminators for now. This is bull crap! Hey! Don't you dare! No, come down! Calm the fetch down! You can't I hate this game! <laughs> Goodbye. You guys made a big mistake. I just watched a hundred thousand dollars slip out of my fingers. Final three, guys. Oh I can't believe I'm still in. Can <laughs> you believe you made it this far? Mm -hmm. I thought I was in big trouble a couple times. I did too. I thought I was gonna leave like the first round. <laughs> but Derek. Oh, so, this next competition is what it's all about. It's every man for himself. The winner gets to choose one other person to go to the final two. I can't believe I'm the last girl in the house. I know, it's crazy. Derek and Steven are trying to get rid of all of them. You were two. Whoa. You were a part of us this whole time. You trying to get me out. Yeah, you voted for her to leave and I voted for Taylor to leave. I know who exactly I'm gonna pick if I win this competition. I'm confused on what I should do. This might be the most important decision in the whole game if I win this competition. <sighs> what to do, what to do. I definitely know what I'm gonna do if I win this thing. <laughs> Hi, Sony Showdown house guests! It's Buzz again. This is what the last times you will see me. For our very last competition. Whoever wins this competition gains the power over the house. And we get to pick who they're taking to the final two. This competition is Peyton, Steven, and Steve. Today's competition is brought to you by Vacos Cam. Who's ready to play the Vacos Escape? Check out these awesome cameras. While you try to escape the Lego room. Head on out to the backyard. Good luck, Sony House guests. All right, so the timer starts once I enter the room. Ooh. Escape room. This is good news for me because I'm smarter than the other two. To put it simply, I should be able to get out of here pretty quick. All right, let's check it out. What do we got here? I've got a locked box. The last contestant eliminated. Oh, is that a question? Okay. I've got cards on the colorful ground, some kind of pen or pencil, and then flags. Oh, the Vacos camera. Okay. All right, I guess my time starts now. Okay, um, so first off, I've got a lock here. I feel like I gotta open each three of these to open the main doors. And escape room. Um, we'll see how well this goes. This might be a little rough. Oh, guys. I could do this. I could do this. I bought them the escape room and I was a little nervous because those things could be hot. Um, okay. First, let's figure out what these are. Um, but I'm not gonna grab that yet. <laughs> I think I should grab the yellow first, because it's two. We gotta go. One diamond, there's Two diamonds, two diamonds, three clubs, four hearts. That's not it. I'm never getting out of here. Uh, this is more complicated than I was expecting to be. There's numbers on the floor, there's banners on the wall, there's just random things. I'm not sure this is gonna be as easy as I expected. All right, so ace, two, three, four, okay, so. Diamond, diamond. Already a lot more difficult than I thought it'd be. Oh, okay, okay. So, 
Alright, so that's two. Alright, I feel like I can use this. Hold on, it's gotta be more behind these things. Okay, so clover, spade, heart. Done. Alright. First one, down. Alright. Okay, okay, this says, this says, um, minus. Okay, DIG, what's that? Um, this is kind of hard because. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if there's like clues. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <gasps> We're being watched by a security camera. And it's four, so I'm gonna put four right here. Which one's the top or the bottom? I'm just gonna do four. Here. This four. Oh. Oh, there's a card behind it. Okay. So, three, four. Ah. One. Does this matter then? Okay, two, so it's diamond, club, spade, heart. Diamond, club, spade, heart. Boom! What do we got? Oh no. I think I might have to find more of these first to solve this puzzle, and then when I solve this, I open that tiny little box over there, get the key for this. But I think I need to get this first. The last contestant eliminated. Um, I don't know if this is just like a warning saying if I lose this, I am out, but like, there's no clue on it, maybe there is. I don't know, I'm not good at escape rooms. This isn't looking good for me. I have no idea what I'm doing. Dang it. Okay, so this one is A, which would be one. This one is two, this one is three, and this one is four. I know what to do. I did it! I did it, yes! A note. Minus clover, plus dig, and what? But I was doing it. Pretty good because I was going fast. Is the camera pointing at something? No. Is it pointing at me? Uncle? No. Last person eliminated. It was Derek. Hmm. This is rough. There's gotta be like something hiding somewhere, like another clue, because this isn't enough. Um I don't understand. Um I really don't understand. There's gotta be is there something underneath these? Am I even allowed, like, allowed to look underneath these? Okay, okay. There's something sticking out right here. Aha! Oh! This. Um. N. Wait, N! I found another note. <laughs> and says D. I don't know. I'm so scared. Okay, I'm just found a no. note. Says P. Come on. Oh, is that the last letter? So this is numbers that I need. I need three numbers, or I want. So what if I like? Where's the front and top? Six. I'm just gonna try it. Six at the top. That's. Man alive. I cannot figure it out. I'm trapped. I'm just sitting here. I haven't solved one single clue. I am wasting time. The last contestant eliminated. What does that mean? I got D, N, O, and P. Um, it's like, come on. I'm just gonna take that. I just did it. Okay, um, how do you want this? There you go. Okay, well I got, uh, 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 uh. No, 
not another one of those. It's this and this. What the heck? Am I blind? Oh! I'm just not paying attention to details. Shoot, I'm gonna waste all my time doing this. Zero. Is that my number? I'm overthinking too much. Um, that, that's, that's not, I don't even worry about that right now, but there's gotta be a hidden letter somewhere. The last content. Wait, that's Derek, but how do I do Derek? <laughs> um, Derek, um, how much letters does he have in his Name? I don't know. I am the worst. I okay. There's things all over this room that I need to find. And okay, so this is an O. No, I will not ever escape from this room. Okay. What do we got? Oh boy. Plus diamond. It's not. Oh, found him. <laughs> Right, four letters. Um, it spells pawn, pawn, pawn. Can't figure this thing out. Okay, Derek. Um, let me think of Derek. Um, um, how many people were eliminated before him? Maybe it's how old he is. <laughs> but there's three. Derek's birthday, July. I don't know what day his birthday is. 12? Oh no, I should have been nicer to Derek. Oh boy. Wait, maybe it's his birthday. I don't know his birthday. Um, wait, 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 it's June. I do know that, so it's six. It's six, it's six the 13th. Grab the 12 first. Is it the 11th? Is it the 13th? 14th. So it's not that. Is it his birthday? I don't know his birthday. This is so sad. Oh, okay. Um, his birthday. Um, is it? It was in January, right? Yeah, I think it was in January. No, it was in January. I got it right. And I just guessed. I got it right. I knew what it stand in here. There's. But what is this doing here? <gasps> Keys! Yes. Yes! Yes! There's a number that's over here. Use this. Just in case. Yes! Yes! <gasps> a paper! Yes! I'm cruising. Okay, um... Steven knows Derek way better than me. I gotta... He's gonna know what his birthday is. I just gotta start from the beginning. Is it the first? The second? I don't even know for sure birthday is what I'm supposed to be looking for, but. Ah! 19. Oh, it's 19! Okay. Sorry, Derek. You eliminated him and forgot his birthday. All right. Now I'm going. I got something done. Stay calm. Plug through, I'm still probably gonna beat these two because if I was having a hard time like this, they're going to too. 15, 16, 17. I got it, I got it, I got it. Finally, just after a few hours of trying to think of Derek's birthday. Okay, I think that very last part, I kind of caught up on some time there. Done. Last. Plus three. Okay, now plus. Let me find those. Um, there's not. And those. Oh, nine plus six plus ten. Can I do that? Plus ten. I think I did this right. I hate that. <laughs> okay. Um. And two. And it. Okay. Next, minus hearts. It's, plus, it's addition and subtraction, so that should be, it doesn't matter the order. Plus 15, 24, and that is minus 24. All right, there's the one more box for me to solve. Is there anything else over here? 
Oh, oh, thank goodness. I checked back in there. All right, all right. This has got to open this thing. 910? Because that's the order it goes in? Wait, that's a six, not a nine. No, 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 no. There's still a box here. Am I? But what's the DIG? I need to know what the DIG is. I feel like Ace is a one. Do I just dig this? I'm free! And I'm done. I hope this time is good enough to win this thing for me. I really want to make this final two. Dig. The key! Does this leave me out? That's the question. Yeah, it's got it. It's got to. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. I'm out! Yes! Yes! Let's stop the timer. What's my time? Did I win? I may have gotten a good enough score to win. But that... Or did this? I'm so confused. Okay! What does this go to? Um, wait. What does this go to? Oh, yeah! I got it! I'm free! It was easy peasy. Win for me! Them. All right, guys, we are finished with the final Sodi boss of this season. It's time to announce the winner. Steven, your final time was 24 minutes and 13 seconds. Uh, Not bad. Payan, you finished with a time of 23 minutes and 43 seconds. So that makes you currently in first place. Yes! And I finished with a time of 25 minutes and 32 seconds. Payan? You won the Saudi Boss competition. Yes! 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 It looks like I'm going to the final two then. So Payton, that gives you the responsibility to choose between Stephen and I to see who you're taking to the final two. All right, each of you have a few seconds to plead your case. Go ahead, Stephen. All right, I'm gonna say this real quick. If you take Steve to the final two, you are absolutely losing. Do you want to know why? Because if you take me out, I'm voting him. Derek's voting him, Jared's voting him, Taylor, who we had a secret alliance with and I knew the whole time, is voting him. Jordan, who betrayed you girls, is voting him. And Parker is probably going to vote you and Blake. That's it, period. Wow, is it my turn now? Yeah. All right, well, first of all, I don't think any of those people are going to vote for me because I haven't won a competition in weeks. I really struggled. I mean, honestly, if you were to pick, you think Derek is not gonna vote for Steven? Jared, Steven, Jordan, this is for the same reason, Steven. Um, I think you have a lot better chance saying, I brought dad, I beat him in the heart, in the most important competition of the whole year. I deserve to win, and I think I can get you over him. Again, again, I'm gonna say this one more time. I know 100% because of the way their votes were. Is this a debate? This, I'm is the, a debate? this is a debate right now. Hey, easy I, over here, Donald look, Jr. Let's let me go. No, look, Taylor, Taylor, 100%, depending on both of their votes, they always voted the same person no matter what. Taylor and Steve had an alliance. All right, guys, your time is up. It's time for me to evict someone. All right, this is really hard to me, but I choose to send home <laughs> Steve. And? Steve. <sighs> I guess this is how it ended. Honestly, she made the right choice. I would have won. But I really thought she was going to bring me. Steve made a really good argument. It's a lot, it's a lot to lose.
Hello, Sorry House guests. Are you ready for today? We'd like to welcome back all 10 house guests. Hi! Hi. The special final showdown. We're gonna give the house guests a few minutes to discuss. All right, so I'll start. Um, first of all, Peyton's the one that kicks me out of the house. So I don't know if that's a plus or a minus, but I kind of respect her a little bit for it because it was probably the right decision. But I mean, Steven did what he had to do to get to the finals too. So he gave a pretty incredible speech. I don't know, it's a tough decision on who to vote for. Steven kicked me out, so I think I am just gonna tell a secret to everyone. I think Payne did good. Um, so me and Steven were in this alliance, but it was more of me in the front. I was making all the hard decisions and Steven was kind of in the background, waiting until I got out and then he just happened to be in the final too. Wow. And somehow Peyton managed to never get on the block until the end, and that's pretty, that's pretty amazing. And Peyton got. So I think we should all vote Peyton to win because she's been being pretty aggressive, and I don't want to let her down because she came this far. She did get both me and Derek out of the house. And Steven, he's just like, he's good too. I just feel like, I just feel like he's not good enough. I gotta say, Steven's in the final two. That's impressive. Well, Steven did get me out of the house. He had the last vote, got me out. But the, he's also been working hard to get to the final two. Got out lots of people, but yeah. Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do yet. So Derek makes a good point that Peyton hadn't been on the block till the very end, which could be um, smart gameplay, or she just wasn't playing hard enough. Um, and Steven um, maybe just floating behind Derek, but maybe he was using Derek. I don't know, like trying to, to like the little puppet master behind the person making all the moves. Huh. Since I was kicked out so early, I didn't get to see a lot of it. <laughs> So I'm gonna let them make their choice, like let them talk and I'll hear both sides. But you guys do make good points where I can see both sides, so I'm gonna let them try to convince me. All right, house guests, it's that time. But first, we have a special award to give out. It's time to announce the favorite house guest. Several weeks ago, you guys voted on our Instagram. And my friend Blaine is here to announce the winner. Hey guys. The favorite house guest award goes to Jordan. What? Yes! Wow, dang Jordan. I thought I was everyone's favorite house guest. I'm the favorite house guest. I get a special prize. Congratulations, Jordan. You are America's favorite house guest. Now guys, it is time. Peyton and Steven, take time to plead your case. I just want to say this real quick. I know I only won one Sody Boss competition, but that Sody Boss, I eliminated Jamie, a big competitor right after Derek just eliminated, who was it, uh, Parker? So we already had targets on our back because me and Derek had an alliance this entire time where we were eliminating each and every one of the girls. Um, after that, I had to win one, then Derek won right after and eliminated Jordan which was another big competition, but I kind of stayed back a little, let Derek do most of the work, but I was kind of behind it all. I was pulling some strings, and that's why I think I deserve to win this challenge. First of all, Steven's only in the final two because I won the last competition, and I brought him here. I eliminated Steve, I eliminated Derek, and I won a last chance challenge, and I single-handedly destroyed the boys' allowance. I mean Steven's alliance. And now he's the last pawn in this game. Tech mate. Now it's time to vote. I am voting for the person that I feel deserves it the most. I'm voting for the person that stood by me the most. I voted for the person who I think deserves it. I'm voting the person that I feel like is more loyal. 
Mine goes back to the very beginning. Who voted me and who didn't. My vote goes to the person that I think truly won the game. All right, Sody House guests, are you ready for the results? Yeah. Okay. This is for the $100,000 price. Peyton has one point. Steven has a point. Peyton has another point. <laughs> Steven has a point. <laughs> Why does that have to keep going back and forth? Steven has a point. Peyton has Whoa. a point. <laughs> Peyton has another point. <laughs> This is the last one. Peyton. I won $100,000! Yes! Thumbs up. Make sure to jump on our Sony app. And we'll see you guys next time.